Well, I got I got a deliverance kid kicked out. You know what? <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Um, mom and dad were cousin fuckers. Mm. Yep, got his ass kicked out. Actually, well, they probably kicked him out because he was probably retarded. No, they kicked him out for being a racist piece of shit. Oh, <laughs> like I said, he was retarded. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, at the yeah, time, isn't your isn't your campus literally just a bunch of people running around saying the N word? <laughs> <laughs> ah, the the oh. campus? No, not really. Oh, that was dandy. I was about to say, hold on, what I miss? No, but uh, there, there's definitely <laughs> the two the two guys that I've been I've I've made friends with and have been hanging out with down here, Joe and Sebastian. Both were just. Quoting shit from fucking Boondocks. Oh God! The other night, and I was like, "Are you guys fucking serious, right?" Now? <laughs> yeah, there's only so much of that, though. Yeah, it, 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 it even got stale after like eight seconds. <laughs> yeah. A pimp named Slipback. Oh. As long as he's black and still breathing. <laughs> It was it was terrible. Like, it was like I really can't hand, I really can't stand that show. Like I I used to for a little bit, but then I was just like, well, it's ignorant. Just the same fucking shit. It's just yeah. It's it's a it's a show about black people made by black people for white people. That's ironic. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I mean it's it's basically the black version of Malibu's Most Wanted for white people. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. No, you're you're definitely not wrong. Pretty sure he's gonna be a little late, but motherfucker had plenty of goddamn time. He was cooking. I mean, Drake was cooking. He was fucking cooking. You wanna fuck? <laughs> I know. No, I heard no. fucking. You guys got time. Matt's not here. <laughs> just turn off your mics. I was gonna say, just pull, pull, pull it, Daniel <laughs> Lord, and mute, mute the mic. There it is. <laughs> Aw. No more fun time yeah. for you. Ha -ha. Yeah, it's fine. I'm eating. Because I can eat food. That's what she said. What? Yep. Revan, you're going to be my fire salt and pepper shaker from now on. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to make it. I'm going to, like, make a fucking rule about that. Like, what? if you do it, he has to do it that turn. Or something bad's going to happen. Please, please don't. Well, don't. Try to try well, that's to that's usually the only time we do it is all of a sudden. Oh, fuck, yeah, but here we go. But no, no, no. But here's a fun fact: you can only use your breath attack once. Yeah, I know. Per, you uh, have to do a short, short rest. rest. Yeah, short yeah. rest. So if you don't short rest and you force it, force it down his throat, mm, weird shit's gonna happen. Don't make oh. him shit himself. Oh, no. <laughs> Fire, Fire diarrhea! Fire. Fire in the hole! <laughs> Jesus, I le what what the hell did you get into this time? Oh, oh, <laughs> you said, now you said, do, you, do you want the long version or short version? Uh you know what? Uh, give me the short version. So we found the gnome. Bar fight. They had a bar there was a fight. it wasn't a bar fight. It was Revan, a bar got, fight. Revan got us, well, me and him dragged mm -hmm. into a a fucking drinking game with the a uh, half ogre barmaid. Revan's a lightweight. <laughs> then the city uh, guard. They were drinking for their tab. Let me let me clarify this. They were um, drinking for their tab. Oh no, it was my tab. Re my tab. Re it, it was Revan's tab. Yes. And I had to go bail him out. Um, <laughs> the city guard came they, looking. We hiked tail at the fuck out. They didn't bother checking the half ogre barmaid, so they they may have potentially killed her from alcohol I poisoning. Checked on her. <laughs> Did you? Mm -hmm. To be fair, right? This is all called sleep. the half orcs husband and bitch. I, 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 no, I called him a dick. There was a, oh, or I, well, call, I, I yeah. called him a dick, but no, that didn't go over well. Um, mm -mm. 
the, then the city guard came down looking on their patrol, except the fact that uh, we were failed to be informed that weapons were illegal in that part of the city, so we kind of had to abscray the x -nay. Um Went and found the gnome. The gnome is basically like the little Jewish gnome uh, that Billy Crystal plays from The Princess Bride. And yes, my age Miracle is showing Max, that. Uh, yeah. No, not... It has nothing uh, to do with the fucking character, you dumbass. We 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 found the gnome, started talking to him. He showed us basically what's a reanimator and deanimator, um, that is basically think like a car battery with jumper cables that's worked by the purple liquid. Oh shit! Then the, then the city guards came again. Uh, Scroll patrol. Rat's ass asked of... for a password. <laughs> <laughs> he, he came up and my Monty Python kicked it. I'm like, what's the password? And then he's mm. like, you're asking me for a password. He's like, bitch, you're the guard. He's like, I'm the guard. That's not the password. You can't come in. And <laughs> um, Rat's ass had a door kicked into him. Yep. Yeah. I, I almost almost shot, shot a person. person. And then and she likes to touch uh, people's legs. Oh uh, yeah, basically Megan is a uh, rogue from X Men. I drank uh, purple <laughs> shit. Fire came out, and then I cursed at the the guy that's not known as Magi. Oh uh, yeah, no. So Ma uh, so walking Russian roulette with the magic book is sitting over there in the bush. <laughs> Rev Revan's sitting here trying to haphazardly swing his double Scottish pirate dragon sword at this fucking dude on horseback. I walk up, basically force him to drink the purple shit, shake his head, and he just fucking cone blast fire out the fucking door, and and we killed four city guards, and that was about where we had to call it. Dear God. I swear to God, every fucking time I leave for not, not even a day. Oh. I mean, in hindsight, everybody's alive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, except for the four city guard. <laughs> no, in all fuck no, no, no. Fuck in all em. fairness, they started it. They kicked the door in. I just asked for a password. <laughs> this is true. This yeah, is true. true. Yep. Yep. Okay, gotta rebuild the table. So fuck you, Andy, for saying I started it. Uh, so, yeah, that's weird. It didn't started, build. Actually, what do you mean I started my character? It? No, no, it, it was because we, we I, I was having a fun little banter. He got a little butt hurt and decided to use his pony and kick the door in. <laughs> huh, Fierce, weird. your it's... character is currently uh, MIA. Sorry, somebody was telling me I was too busy learning Spanish to pay attention to you. No, well, you just missed a fucking recap. <laughs> well, fuck you too, I guess. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, uh, that's fucking... Espanol yeah. es muy importante. Sí. Sorry, I don't. That, Sorry, wait, I'm hey, cool. not taking another lesson, damn it. Oh, I was gonna say, Megan, are you streaming or recording yet? Yes, yes, I am. Never mind, I'm not about to say what I was about to. <laughs> what? You thought she wasn't? Got <laughs> uh, that back. I'm, I'm not gonna bother with the fucking. Ah, pendejo. I was, I was gonna fuck with the pinchy pendejo. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys are fucking terrible. Let's get Rianne's in this. this. No. You, Ma Megan, not. you forget. My supervisor for a while was straight Mexican. I That's learned some shit from Ariel. <laughs> that was the lanky stranger gnome. I need the actual fuck no model. Where the fuck the no model go? Did you lose it? Up Why's your ass around in the corner? Are you tubing out your boob? He doesn't have boobs. Oh, no, we're but all my we all have boobs. <laughs> 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 and I was just saying, Clapper Revan, that dude is uh <laughs> narrow as a rail. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, Re Revan, you need a steak. They could fit two of you in your seat while you're Trust me, around. I'm you're eating. Here. <laughs> okay, gonna load the auto save of the table real quick because my drawer got fucked up. Nice. That's what we would like to see. Hell yes. Mm. It is time to eat. You gotta go eat? Or yep. you just gotta go get your stuff? I have no idea. Okay. Uh, well, I, I know exactly how to deal with your character, so. Kill him. Hey, uh, no. Pierce. So, uh, I did a thing the other day. 
Oh, jeez. Did you shoot another fucking hole in the wall? Mm -hmm. Fuck you! No, I did not! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> nice! Yeah, that, that, that was a little pricey compared to all the other miniatures. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. Holy shit. I cannot see. Oh, Chase. Why? You just it's don't still... know what to do with your money, do you? It still blows my mind that of all the f of all the things to bring down Vader's flagship, it was fucking fucking out of control A wing. <laughs> like the smallest goddamn ship in the Riddle Armada. Yep. I mean, technically, it's fast as fuck, boy. Yeah, and well, technically, it went fast as fuck, boy, right into the bridge and killed all the crew, destroyed all the controls, and it crashed in the second Death Star. But still. The fact that the smallest goddamn ship in the Rebel Alliance. My question hey, on that. Took out of a Fifteen okay. twenty minutes. Okay, okay. no, you're if fine. that. I'll just. Get the, and in all fairness, Andy, I only spent thirty dollars. A firm is a wonderful thing. You only spent thirty dollars. Okay. To be fair, oh. I totally bought bought uh, Scott from Kentucky Ballistics newest shirt. The one that says 760 days, 762 days, or 36 days, or whatever it is. Yeah. An accident. And then when people ask me what, what accident, I'm going to tell them the last time I shit my pants or something stupid. How <laughs> <laughs> about the last time you shot a truck? Oh, oh, oh. That was a lot longer than 700 days. <laughs> <laughs> At least mine was outside. You know. You know, I'm the other one that hasn't shot anything. Me neither. Me neither. That's because you barely even shoot, Megan. Fuck you. you. <laughs> guns are just illegal in mass. Nobody likes mean. guns up there. <laughs> Actually, no. No, that's not true. I have shot something, but it was with an airsoft rifle. Mm -hmm. That doesn't count. You, you need to take a trip out to us and we'll, we'll, we'll go and doctrinate you. It's okay. <laughs> I've had the most potentially dangerous misfire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you did. I will. I will never oh, forget so that day. Did. though. <laughs> so, so wasn't that like, uh, your your VP seventy bug when it had like double fucking uh, squibs in it? No, uh, no. I, I had one where no. I had a two forty nine saw uh, have seven squibs oh, back right. to back to back into each other, and I pulled the barrel out, and it's literally just fucking five five six stacked into each other. And I also negligently discharged a two hundred three. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you take the fucking cake with that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I got a I got a good nerd story for you. All right, go for it. All right. So my cousin has an airsoft sniper, a CO2 powered airsoft sniper. So right. every, so like pretty much every summer up until COVID, it, and I think we're just starting to get back into it now. My family would have a range day at my aunt's house. Oh, so, story. so we would bring out like, like airsoft. We would bring out, out paintball guns. We'd bring out bow and arrow. Everything we that any of us have. So, so we regular up, weekend for us. Got it. <laughs> so we set up. I think it was like a melon or something, and it was probably about fifty meters out. Out if that. But so I'm prone on the ground and they're trying to they're trying to instruct me like let out all your breath and then steady your shot and then I just I just put a hand up to tell them shut up and they see me empty lung zero my sights boom dead shot on it they went how the hell I looked at them I said did I not mention that I'm my squad marksman <laughs> I can demo that one. Just gonna empty your breath, yada yada yada. Me just slapping the trigger, full fucking lungs and belly out. Yeah, but I was just, I was like, I am well aware of sniper training, people. Boom. <laughs> now let's get him to a real, let's get him some real distance. Let's bring him to a thousand yard range. Mm -hmm. Oh Jesus! <laughs> All right, it sounds like you're coming down to Colorado. Colorado. There, I, 
I think it, I don't know where a thousand yard range is here. Um. Uh, Anyhow, that still doesn't answer my question about where the hell my character is. Oh, isn't yes. the uh, isn't the one my uh, by Carson got a thousand capability or no? No, I think the. I don't know. I, I don't know that. Really I know that one. Well, I rarely go there too, but I know that I know that one goes up to at least four or five hundred. I think it depends on which one you're in. The only person that actually went there was freaking Andy. You what? Who? Carson Range. Oh, yeah. Uh, what's does it? You went there. Does a it go out to a thousand? Well, I, I went there a couple times when we were doing like some. Uh, uh, I, I don't I think, think it has this. I think it's like four hundred or five hundred. I think the longest it goes out to is about eight hundred yards on a couple of the ranges, but you can't shoot any, any magnum calibers on those ranges. Yeah, you can't like shoot the, the, the magnum stuff. caliber, you can only shoot to 300, which is fucking dumb. <laughs> okay, so there are your two characters. Uh, okay, so to preface, uh, what in the middle of Ratas's recollection of what happened, uh, you guys were walking through the tunnel, and you guys uh, did not come out the same entrance that they did. Uh, quite happily, in fact, uh, you guys continued it down said magical tunnel that didn't have the same exit because the no-name Magi was behind you guys. Well, sorry, now, now he's named a Magi, or Magi. He didn't have a name before. No name okay. was behind you guys. They came out. You guys weren't there. Uh, currently... You guys are actually underneath where this trap door is that you can see that would be inside the house. I don't have the walls up because the walls got eaten. Don't know where the walls went, but uh, Ian decided to eat them. So you're technically inside this trap door. Uh, you're, you're walking into it because you guys are still venturing through the tunnel. Uh, it's been about a day right. and a half for you guys since you guys have seen a natural light. And uh, you'll you'll know when uh you, you guys are gonna be here because uh they just got done murdering the city guard for whatever reason uh it wasn't our fault if we didn't start it yep yep and then I got to remember that there was a guillotine outside not our guillotine. Guillotines are very important. Uh, what is that? A guillotine for, for ants? <laughs> the guillotine for fucking the giants that are these other human models. <laughs> Trig's five foot five. Revan is six five. Trig is bigger. <laughs> it's the thighs. The thighs make it look huge. I mean, she I mean even Andrew over here being a perv. Just said, yeah, I, I can. Say. <laughs> I'll send you the picture I took. <laughs> That's your That's new nickname. I'm calling you Proby Sage. No. Yes. I have nothing to do. What does Sage have to do with anything? No. Nope. Do you even know what that means? No, I have no idea. Hey, look, there's undies, babe. Yes, I know. <laughs> she has underwear on. Yeah, you're the you one who gotta... made it that sexy. That's your fault. Because that's my character. my character. And I'm not gotta... going to be like that. So. Resident Evil 4, just freaking Ashley. <laughs> you pervert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I know Revan's eating, so... Uh... Well, well, while she's streaming, everybody's <laughs> looking at her character. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll continue since uh, Revan is... Eating. Plot-wise, he doesn't really say much at this point. Well, no, I like Him and Rats has had like, a solid 30-minute oh conversation. God. I'm just over here just staring. A 30 minute conversation because haha, you're blue, I'm bronze. Haha, <laughs> what do you spit out your mouth? Dicks. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to eat my asparagus over here. You what? Oh, you're sorry. echoing really bad. Just because of him. Just because of me? Yeah, it's yeah. blowing yeah. through your headset, bro. Oh, let me turn, turn up your noise thing. gate. It's been so long we played that we haven't had to turn Megan down. Oh my god. I normally don't talk. talk. Flip, flop, flip, flop. Anyway, okay. So, 
Austin, you're here? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, so you guys have just got done murdering the city guard. Uh, the only person to notice... You sound like CNN. The, uh, the only person to notice what happened to the fifth city guard was Iris as she looked behind and curious as to what happened to the guy that they were trying to reanimate only to find his uh, insides and the remains of his body start just becoming uh, liquefied. Oh, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> you're uh, the, the lovely uh, gnome artificer. Uh, I don't remember if I gave him a name or not. Did I give him a name? Was it Celios or whatever? Oh, uh, it, was it was Cavellius. Solaris. Yes. No, it was what? The guy. Yeah, so, so Solaris, Solis, whatever the frick his name was. Celios like didn't be so? No. No, uh, I have I have the name now, actually. Uh, I was going to say, yeah, because half the time I write notes, I can't fucking save it, so. No, no, I, I, I ideally fix the table to where that should no longer be an issue. Uh, we'll uh, find out. Oh, God, it won't stop spinning. <laughs> <laughs> so, Hevelios comes running out of the back room, uh, you know, conveniently after being uh, missing from the entire fight. Uh, only to see the uh, remains of four now city guardsmen just, and their horses, mind you. The horses are also dead inside of his house. Oh, Jesus. Sorry. Uh, it's a big house. Yeah, tri- <laughs> yes. Uh, and he looks around for a moment, glancing at, you know, his. Uh... The fuck? What the Did hell? Did you hear that, that beep? Yeah. Yeah. Who's fucking with the clock? It's gotta somebody, be Andy. somebody click somebody click the clock. You know what? No more clock. Think there's a beep. Yeah, it beeps. The clock <laughs> beeps when you click clock. it. <laughs> I just delete the fucking thing. No more clock. <laughs> well, so clock is gone. Been, how did the other two get here? Uh we're working on that. They're they're oh, technically okay. not here yet. They're actually <laughs> how, did the other two, how did the other two get here? There. We'll get there when we get there. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the, the gnome comes out. Uh, Hevelios looks around at you guys. He goes, uh, Do you have any more of that purple shit on you? I do, but it also raises a question, uh, my new friend. And what is your question? Your little device. Given that me and the counterpart here can technically harness it, do you think it would work if we were to wire it up to one of us to try and harness and hone the ability? I don't know. Uh, all I know is... Uh, no, I don't know, because you are not human. I've only had time to test on humans, and I need one of your bottles now. All right. I'll hand them. Uh, I think one of them. I got two. I got hand them one of them. You, you used one in a fight. He stole one from you. To showcase the uh, I think I have little four, so I think I got one left. So he grabs the third one from you, runs over, and he you find uh, he grabs something that looks kind of like a squeegee, and as he pours as he pours it over the, his uh, squeegee with a sharp metallic blade on it, he starts grabbing the. Uh... Okay, uh, yes. Make sure your dice trays work. Actually, break your dice trays. my dice tray. <laughs> I look at Rick Echo Fago, it's just like, ah, oh, yes, a billion dice roll. Oh, shit, my my rolls are not saved anymore. Uh, I think it's because I, it was, yeah. I had to delete the table originally and redo it. Perhaps. So you'll have to do your saves again for your specific ones. I'm good, but no, okay. as long as your dice roll, yeah. that's all that matters. Okay, please. Click. Okay, okay. You don't. You don't need to spam the die. You're not ever rolling on the d20s. <laughs> Why not? Because you're not. Uh, Thanks for but, using all of my natural twenties. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Man. That's the last time he's ever gonna see a twenty. Fuck. Damn it. Um, as he as the gnome starts pull, uh, starts using this squeegee like as he's. Hacking up what seems to be the rest of the bits, the purple liquid on the human seemed to just immediately start disintegrating, not disintegrating, but melting the bodies to a 
liquid gel like state as he's pushing it down the trap door. Uh, like he's trying to use the trap door as just a drain, and as he drops Telling it down, he's he just waffle stomping a body. <laughs> he's waffle stomping bodies, <laughs> horse bodies, uh, whatever's left of the body trick touch because she uh, was using vampiric hands. Uh, Fucking I suck your brains out. As <laughs> as you just hear the sloshing and the, and the drops of just the gel like remains just hitting through the. Uh, Hitting through the trapdoor and falling through the uh, the grates. You hear me uh, down at the bottom. Ah, oh, motherfucker! You got some on me. Actually, yes. You know, because <laughs> uh, you two having uh, been walking through the endless, uh, not natural tunnel, apparently you end up uh, <laughs> down inside the trapdoor. And uh, since Andrew wanted to talk like an asshole, he's the one that gets a uh, human refuse on top of him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you also hear, oh, what the fuck? Uh, the gnome looks over. And, like, I have a bunch on my leg and I'll like kick it off at the gnome. Oh, wait. The gnome just kind of kind of looks yeah. down and he's like, oh, there's people there. Light bulb. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Hey, uh, bulb. were we get, uh, given a chance to search the corpses before they got magically, uh, you know, fucking. No, no you're, you're not. No, God damn no, it. They're, they're now Gojo. <laughs> <laughs> Gojo. <laughs> Do they have the texture? Are they pumice or are they just regular Gojo? Uh, pumice. pumice. The, pu the pumice is the bones. Yeah, excellent. Oh, God. I'm into it. I'm into it. <laughs> yeah. All yeah, of is, and, Captain and Miles Brooks just kind of looks around and goes, Do I even want to know what the hell just got scooped down that grate? I just look all, all of a sudden over. Ha <laughs> ha! You two dumbasses finally showed up. What is he all? It's all the fun. I think we should call that Soylent Green. What do you think? <laughs> okay, uh, we're we're going back to talking stick because I know Trigger's about to say something and then because I, I heard her before Rats and then Rats just continued. I got talking Sorry. stick. You got humans poured on you. Dear God. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't forget, Cardamom is also horse. Look, he looks it over at the two fa the the three faces because he doesn't recognize the gnome either. He goes, he looks over at the three faces. He doesn't see. Go and I'm sorry. Uh, who the fuck are all of you? Well, I, I, I just uh, up. walks into the middle of all you. Uh, I'm the little guy. Uh, I do much building things <laughs> for the prince. Uh, unfortunately, uh, humans don't seem to take well to the experimentations. Uh, oh. Also, he. He is also a friend of the, uh, he's also a friend, he's also a friend, and, uh, oh yeah, hang on, let me go get my body to match all of you. Uh, the note disappears, grabbing I, his, uh, metallic contraption up. of, uh, wheels and gears as he comes out looking like a human. That was a I weird, walk up in the like, middle of everybody. Stop and go, he grabbing his, and then right? he <laughs> I was like, no, don't say it. <laughs> I'm grabbing his cock. I even the cock bit. I was like, wait for it, wait for it. I just walk up, I go, these two are the ones that were locked up in when we met the prince, and that one's walking Russian roulette with the magic book. Russian roulette doesn't exist here. You can't use it. <laughs> okay, pick a page. Walking pick a give page. Him a, give him a continent. Give him a continent. <laughs> <laughs> Arcanist roulette. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Everybody is the same from when we all met with the prince, Cap. Okay, uh, you can vouch for these two, right? Or do I yeah. need to push them back down the trap door? No, 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 Melia's up. Says that, I just got my claws out. Well, then, as much yeah, as it'd be I funny, know. I think we need him. I I vouch for these two. You vouch for Very these two? Okay, e good enough. Easily and handedly. Uh, the two of us have been walking for the better part of the last day. You have any idea how bad he smells? <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, anyway, uh, like I told you, compatriots here, you are going to need some help. Uh, as the prince sent you to me, unfortunately, I cannot do anything for you because I don't have purple shit. Uh, I gave your friend here the little box that does interesting things. Well, I haven't had a successful experiment on it yet, but it goes. Uh, anyway, 
uh, I, you said you got sent to me. I sent you to the castle. Uh, there is also an arc settlement across the swamp if you want to go there. Right, Genovese is the one that owns the fucking castle. Yes, Thelios oh. Genovisto. Yeah, you, if you go up that way to the north, uh, you might be able to find something there that might help you more. Fuck you, Chelios. Sorry. But uh, okay. aside from that, there's nothing, there's not much I could do here except provide you a comfortable uh you may not want, you may not want to ask what the beds are made out of you know what uh, Bodden. Uh, well yeah I mean, that would make sense I, like that's what furs are is skin like i mean come on i say how about this anyway, since you have been helpful for us if i was to find more of that purple shit and we don't die I bring you some back. Mm, very good, very good. Uh, you need purple shit? I have purple mm, shit. You have more purple shit? How much do you need? Uh, for experimentations, I wouldn't need at least two vials. Uh, well, just to you're be... in luck. And I hand him... I think I've got three. Hold on. It's not as hot as I thought it would be. What? The chicken. Gotta be hotter. It stopped working out when it died, Preston. That's probably why it's not so hot. <laughs> I do. I have three vials of poisonous goo. I will give him one. Two. I will give him two. God damn it, Raj. I took a bite of chicken. The cat, the cat just kind of looks around and goes... Do, I'm almost afraid to ask how many bodies was the amount of bodies that just got shoved down that grate? Four and four horses. Five humans, four horses. Uh... Mm -hmm. Good lord. In all fairness, uh, one of those... little jacko thingy. Uh, you forgot the one that I melted beforehand. Right. But in all fairness, Cap, the guard started it. You may just want to uh, forget this ever happened, Captain. And I'll grab his shoulder and kind of give it a squeeze and a shake. <laughs> it's the gentle shake, like reassuring I'm, I'm him. Gonna need... Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm gonna need so many drinks when we get back to town. Why does somebody say a drink? Oh, Shut up! Yeah. Shut oh God! <laughs> <laughs> He's an alky. <laughs> <laughs> don't get me started on drinking, lad. Because once I start, I don't want to stop. I'll hold up a vial of purple goo. I dare you to drink this. No, we just did that. No, pop it. <laughs> Fucking go sit in the corner. Cow <laughs> <laughs> kitty. That's been as much I would like to. I'd rather wait for a fight. Uh, you mean so you like can I suicide you. bomb like this one and I point it all right. <laughs> I. Oh, Lord. Uh, like I told you, our compatriots here, uh, we don't quite understand where the purple stuff comes from, other than that after uh, the explosion in Gela. Yes, Gela. Uh, right, I can't honestly remember if I own fucking names at this point. Uh, okay, please uh, forgive. After, after the explosion of Gela, the stuff started popping up everywhere and kind of just leaks out in various locations. Uh, but the only person that ventured anywhere to the north where Gela used to be and across the continent, that is uh, the Castellan I uh, told your friends about. Hmm. So if you guys wish to stay here, take a rest, you are most certainly welcome to. Uh, I don't know if the city guard would honestly send any more out this way. They tend to not come out towards the north. But otherwise, you need to uh, take the other fork in the road and can mm. continue down until you find a valley. Once you find a valley, it's somewhat a paved road. But it's, it's dirty. There's no uh, nothing grows there anymore. Uh, ah. You'll go down the valley, and the castle is on the other side of it. Hmm. I vote for a short rest. Yes. 
Given that I've been walking for the last day or so, I'm, I'd go with that. You guys want to do a short rest or a long rest? If you do a long rest, uh, it'll be the next day. If you do a short rest, you're going to come out at night. Uh, we can do short rest. Well, so, question then, DM. Even yes. though we've been AWOL, technically, for the game, for the last yes. game, I assume we've been wandering through the tunnels by ourselves, trying to figure out what's going on. Matt and I have yes. been wandering the entire time. Therefore, are we? Do we need a long rest? Have we been awake too long? Are we going to take a point of exhaustion if we don't take a long rest? You guys will like most likely take. Yeah, you guys will most likely take a point of exhaustion if you head towards the, if you head towards the castle without a long rest. Uh, the castle uh, is gonna, it's it's gonna be about a fourteen hour. Uh, or a twelve hour uh, at regular pace. Uh, if if you guys run, you can make it in about eight hours. Hmm. Yeah. Also remember that some of you also just got the shit beat out of you, so. Yeah. Oh right. Hold on. <laughs> Everybody suddenly forgot that in combat, uh, health stays. <laughs> yeah. Well, so that's, the last, guys, that's how the last week I just works, right? The damage. You, uh, yeah, right. If you guys decide to long rest, um, you'll start off at uh, dawn of the next day. If you do a short rest, it'll be roughly uh, just past sunset. Let's just do the long rest so that way we can get everything back. I agree. I'm good. Let's do this. I'm good with the long right. rest. I know. I only have one healing spell. Well, you're not exactly we're, we're a healer. Fuck. I'm a cleric. Doesn't mean you're a healer. Yeah, a cleric. I played a priest yeah. doesn't mean I'm gonna fucking heal you. Fuck you. I'm a shadow priest, bitch. <laughs> Lol. Ten years a while later, I still refuse to heal people. I'm a paladin. Yeah. I get shit. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a I've got a druid that I was building that's a uh, circle of uh, what is it what is a circle of uh, Cir spores, circle which of... means that I'm basically a druid necromancer. Mm. <laughs> so you know so... that doesn't mean I'm gonna heal you. Wait a minute, circle of spores is necromancy. It's it's adjacent. It's necromancy adjacent. It's the closest. Right, now you can I'm get scared because that's that's the druid in my campaign. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's 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 necromancy adjacent. It's the closest you can get to necromancy as a druid, because technically druids are supposed to like life, yeah, and and be like vehemently against necromancy. So it's it's like right there. <laughs> yeah, that, that's why I'm excited for one of my characters because I have it as a paladin, an oathbreaker paladin warlock multiclass. Jesus fuck. Was it was my character? character? No, that is not that character. No, no, okay. no that is not no. <laughs> Okay. I am not going to Oathbreak tier. No. Aww. That's Damn. how shit goes down. Anyway, <laughs> uh, you guys are welcome to use the beds in the back. Uh, just make sure one person mans the door at all times, just in case they send more people. Uh, also, uh, Picky Spellbook, he's not allowed inside due to the fact that he distorted my fucking gram! <laughs> Oh yeah, Ma Magi decided. Oh, oh yeah, Magi uh, used Ray of Enfeeblement, absolutely fucking missed, and shot the only thing of like the stack of rum in the back of the house. So, he shot the girl. Yeah, uh, you want to talk about Meldro was very sad. We had, he had rum. <laughs> yes, it had, was rum in the back. Had, had. I know. You burned all the food. Shit, the rum. <laughs> <laughs> Why so, is the rum gone? Did somebody call for rum? I was out of the room, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a so, uh, you guys, uh, make yourselves out of the watch thing. Uh, if you hear weird noises, don't worry about it. Uh, yes, because... I honestly I, I did think have, you have a bunch of girls in the back room with you. I did have a separate wall here. I just I didn't save the wall for whatever fucking reason. Alright, so... Let's see. How do the hit dice work again? So when, well, when you do a long rest, you you'll recover all your health and you get your hit yeah. dice back. Oh, okay. Yeah, but so are hit we dice just... are really only short rest. Yeah, oh, are hit are dice we are just... for short rest. 
Are we just saying then we get all our hit points back? Uh, well, you need to figure out who's going to be doing what. Uh, well, because... I'm still injured, so my yes, ass needs uh, to fucking rest. I'd be sleeping. Uh, so, somebody's going to have to stay awake, or, you know, you're going to have to do, make some kind of shift, because, uh, just in case something happens, like, oh no, somebody got a shitty roll at night, and now something's at the door. God damn it, That's Andrew. The... What's the password? Hey, fuck you, you're the one who rolled on my natural 20s. <laughs> so, yeah, just to put in perspective, this 3x3 three three room is his personal workshop that was originally there, but is no longer there, because fucking... I think I saved it over the wrong thing and <laughs> I didn't go. Anyway. So uh, I will I'll take the first shift since I am not like immediately what is going on with my character? Why are you so slow? Uh, that was uh the auto save. That that was auto save happening. Uh let me see if I can't turn that back to a decent amount of time. <laughs> yeah, I'll, it, it I'll, I'll perch in the corner like a cat and take the first shift. <laughs> Just being fucking weird okay. in the corner. Just... Okay, you guys can all just, you know, it's like, okay, so Bogdan's first shift, who's second, who's third, and who's fourth. Ulrich, what are your health points at? 32. I'm at 19. Jesus, okay, so... fuck, Norgel. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Bogdan will take the first shift. Matt won't take a shift because... You guys are only sleeping for eight hours, but he's also at risk of exhaustion compared to everybody else. Uh, okay, so everybody move your characters to the back. We, I can we shall do first shift. She doesn't. No, but no, 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 Bogdan already said he's got first shift because he's sitting in the. Uh... I'm sitting in the cat position in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> like every time you wake up for a second, you look over to that corner and you see my eyes just sitting there. Hey, right off the bed. <laughs> Get off the bed. No. <laughs> um, so, you know, uh, the first shift seems to go by, you know, uh, darkness seems to encroach. Uh, the magi was unfortunately left outside due to him destroying the room. But also he was fine. told to go sit in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> So the first shift goes by. The first few hours, nothing seems to happen. Uh, next shift I, happens. Also, as long as I'm awake, I cannot be surprised. So Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just about the ending of the first shift into the second shift. Uh, whoever is doing second, pull your character forward to... Uh, yes. You hear, um, everybody seems that's awake at the time. Seems to hear a lovely tune being played. Uh, whether or not it's a tune anyone's familiar with or somebody just messing around, somebody is out there strumming on an instrument. And the oh, instrument God. is getting proceedingly closer. Oh, please don't be a bard. Please don't be a bard. Please don't be a bard. <laughs> uh... Does anybody it's want to look outside? What is, what is anybody want? I'll peek out through the door. <laughs> so you peek, as you peek out the door, you see uh, what looks to be a farmhand just kind of walking, strumming a uh, string instrument. Uh, and he's sitting somewhere near the middle of the fork in the road. It's kind of, he seems kind of lost at the moment. Uh, but it's just... Go ahead. What's up? Go ahead. Uh, he, he's just kind of sitting there in the middle of the road. Uh, he doesn't look like he's doing anything malicious but it's almost like he's t either talking to himself or he might be singing it's hard to tell from this distance my experience with this tells me he either has a quest or he's the devil <laughs> we, all, we just hear we just hear do 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 the devil went down to Georgia. <laughs> the devil went down to Georgia on a banjo. <laughs> Another ten better than Nickelback. I mean, I was going more. I was going more dueling banjos, but okay. <laughs> Somebody go tell Scanlon's brother to keep walking. 
Uh, is that who's awake? I guess we're I guess we're right in the middle of a. Uh, you're right. You're right in the middle of the shift change. Uh, you hear some weird noises coming out of the workshop, but it's loud enough that it would probably drown out the sound because you, it's coming through the walls like loud clanging. But mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not for me. Sorry, I'll, uh, you're the next. I'll walk over here during, during yeah, next yeah. shift, and I'll knock on the I'll knock on the door to the workshop, and I'll ask him if he has any noisy neighbors who play guitar. You hear the, I apologize uh, for nothing. <laughs> you, hear, you hear the sudden noises stop as uh, you know, just kind of peeks out the door. Uh, well, I say peek out, but you know, he opens the door. He's all like three foot fucking nothing looks up at you, uh, what you looking down at your kneecaps at first, and then he's like, uh, neighbors? Friends. Uh, <laughs> only friend I, only friend I have is the prince. Uh, Otherwise, and nobody I, really comes around here except city guard and whoever travels along the road to the north. So obviously, if we already killed city guard. That means they must die. So, what about this one? Uh, yeah. If you kill them, stick them down the trap door and. That's such a solution for everything. <laughs> I just want uh, to. <laughs> he just kind of shrugs and then goes back into his workshop, and you just and you continue to hear. Uh, the same uh, maniacal sounds. Some laughter as well in there. Maniacal. <laughs> <laughs> so the banjo player, uh, instead of going to the north, heads south and he starts approaching the cat. He's just strumming his instrument along. Identify uh, himself. The banjo man just continues to keep playing as he sees the open door and a voice coming out of there. Well, he's another fucking NPC. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I will I will ambush him at the door. Uh, Wait, would you not I want to wake him. everybody? You're gonna grapple him. Mm -hmm. uh, grapple him, bring him to the ground. Ding, 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 ding. All he has done. Zombie. What? All of a sudden, you just get you. You gotta put him out, boy. Uh, the banjo man approaches and he's he's looking around like he's being very uh he's being very observant. He sees the hoof prints heading towards the door, but he and he sees a broken door, but he doesn't see anybody on the inside yet. Oh my god, I figured it out. He slowly singing to himself. There once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to a white <laughs> run from Old Rorik's dead. <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so oh. Banjo Man. So here's exactly what I'm going to do. When he comes to the door, I'm going to ambush him. I'm going to attempt to grapple him, bring him to the ground, and cover his mouth because if he's a fucking bard, I'm going to fucking clamp down on that shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, <fucking right>. uh, <laughs> no, 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 he, he walks through the door. He doesn't. Seem to be, he just seems to be following the hook prints at this point, and he immediately walks through the broken door, and he's occupying that space just next to you. Doesn't even see uh, that you're there. I attack. I do my. I do my. Oh, I tackle him. <laughs> tackle him. Bring him to the ground. Cover his mouth. Rope furnish you. <laughs> I'm guessing that's an athletics check, right? Uh, yes, grapple is athletics. Okay, that's a fourteen. Okay, uh, you grab, you uh, come up. I really don't want to say come up from behind, but <laughs> uh, you successfully seem to tackle this man down to the ground. Uh, unfortunately, right where you tackle him was the. Also, the broken door, and his banjo seems to have get gets lost and uh, broken as well. As no. He, oh, he, no. As, he, as he grasps uh, both his arms together in a like a gigantic bear hug, preventing him. Or you're grabbing his jaw, weren't you? Like just holding his uh, mouth shut, covering his mouth, and I want to take him to the ground. So I wanna, if I have to go prone with him, I'll go prone with him. Okay, so wouldn't, you're, you're wouldn't both... that be going backwards then, bug yeah, instead of forward? No, no, you can you can go forward and tackle somebody. 
you know? Mm -hmm. And so you're both now prone. You're ma you uh, successfully get your your furry hands around his mouth. Got him in almost a rear <laughs> naked, just latched on him. <laughs> just, just latched on. His arms can't do anything. He lost his banjo. And something falls off from around his neck. Something falls off from around his neck. Okay. Yes. I'll growl in his ear. I said, identify yourself. Prick just got a fucking boner. <laughs> <laughs> I knew she had a wee wee. <laughs> the bar is just muffled. You didn't ask for my safe word. <laughs> Definitely a Scanlan relative, motherfucker. <laughs> right? Uh, the, the Banjo Man uh, is unable to unable to seem to talk as he, he's looking around frantically at this point. Uh, I know I got my hand over his mouth. I will like, open up a finger so he can talk if he can if he can talk, but is he... Uh, like he he can't friend? talk. No, no, no. He can talk. He can talk. He is not a uh, ruined in the mouth shut. Yeah. He, he is not fucking... Uh, he, he tries to... He can't seem to get out much worse. Mostly from being absolutely frightened by the fact that a giant cat just appeared out of fucking nowhere. Uh, I'm tackled by a tiger. <laughs> He's like, uh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. <laughs> tackled by a tiger. Oh, tiger! T-I double gut er He's like... As he's unable to see who his capture is... He uh, looks for he looks for a moment before uh, letting out. It's like I'm from the town. I'm from the town. Do any of us wake up and come out? My question: Who are you? You're just uh, I'm just a lonely banjo player. Uh, you you remember me? Uh, it, the Ah, fuck, what was, what was that place I was sitting? I was, I was sitting next to the, uh, the thingy with the rope and the hanging person. The gallows? <laughs> oh, he doesn't know what the fuck they're called. He's just a banjo player. Oh, yeah, okay. I, I, I thought you didn't know. I was like... <laughs> I know what a fucking gallows, gallows is, dumbass. <laughs> I spent forever looking for that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I, I wouldn't put it past you to not know it. Wait, so wow. he was from the town, not the city, right? Yeah, the town. Okay. Yeah. I, I was like, I don't remember there being a gallows in the city. I remember there being one in the town. <laughs> okay. I'm like, ah, okay. I thought you looked familiar. Do I recognize him? You do not recognize him. Uh, he, he, none of you seem to have paid much attention to him uh, since you guys kind of blew past the gallows and went to the. Uh, well, the there is one. The, there is one the man who. Guy. There is one man who was close to the gallows who might know. Person hanging from it? Oh. Now, uh, uh, the uh, guy who no. walked up to the gallows looked at the guy and went, fucking amateur. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing all the way out here then? Iris, please go wake up. Hang on. Should, should I roll perception? Yeah, you can roll perception. Uh Alrighty. I want to see if I fucking recognize this guy, if I was paying close enough attention. I'm trying to, I was like, I'm sitting there trying to remember, I'm like, which people were actually in the town that actually walked by? I mean, the last thing I remember was somebody trying to say fuck, and we should only getting two words of it. <laughs> Wait, so I got 16. <laughs> oh! Alright, you, uh, so you, you, you recognize him as one of the people that was sitting in front of the, that was sitting in front of the gallows, uh, what before uh, you before you, uh, you guys left the uh, whole thing and you noticed that the towns were uh thing. Wait a minute. I recognize you. You were sitting by the gallows the other day, weren't you? Yes, yes. See, uh, see it was uh, friendly. Uh, yes, I was I was playing I was playing the tunes for the dead. So then what the hell are you doing all the way out here? I could just see the whole like Bogdan's just looking over. I just asked that, damn it! <laughs> like, does nobody listen to me? Like, I, I, am, I, am I fucking invisible here? 
I'm sorry, I got woken up out of my sleep to you interrogating this guy. I got no damn clue what the hell you asked him or not, man. I'm a cat, okay, let okay. me play with my food, okay? Okay, it's you in the fucking morning corner. Shut up! The thing that fell on the ground... The thing that fell on the ground uh, starts kind of glowing an ominous uh, shit of green. May I investigate? Enough of a light that starts peering through it. Uh, All right, yeah. You. So you walk over. You can see. You can visibly see that what's glowing green. uh, Right. Whatever the object that was around his neck uh, was on a necklace and like a small pennant, just glowing green through the uh, bits of wood that's all over the place from the broken door and now the remains of said banjo. All right. I'm gonna... Let's see. I'll let him up, but when I do, I'm going to pull my Void Blade out, flash my Void Blade out. I'm gonna roll Investigation to make sure that picking it up won't be detrimental to me. Okay. We could put it in the the pink stuff, see what happens. (laughs) Oh my god. Everybody just wants to fuck with the purple shit now. Oh, whoop. Whoop, no, that's not what I wanted to... That is uh, definitely a disadvantage roll. Uh, that was and not what I wanted to do. Thousand with disadvantage. That's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Let's try that again. Oh shit! Uh, you pick it up. And... Looks safe to me. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot. You cannot determine whether or not it, it is something that is dangerous or not. But as you pick it up, nothing seems to. Uh, Nothing seems to happen to you. Hey. The hell is this thing? The thing? Uh, don't worry about that. It's just uh, something. It was a gift from uh, friends in the city. Can I threaten them? Should I roll? Should I roll? Uh, uh, shit. Let's see. What else? So if, you, if you want to threaten him, Trick, you need to roll for intimidation. If you can actually intimidate him with your threat. Is that the zero? Oh, you have a zero? Yeah. All right. How do you want to threaten him? Irish walks up to him. And, and touches, touches him, him like, like basically drugs him at the throat, 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 but her but pinky's, her pinky's up. up. One, One touch, touch I will suck your fucking, fucking blood. blood. What? Now, now tell us the truth, truth, or you'll be, be killed. killed. Uh, poor Banjo Man seems to be uh, quaking in his feet at the moment. You can almost feel, uh, since he was so close to Bug, and uh, something starts puddling underneath him. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> God damn it. Oh no. You just made this man piss himself. You can insight check if you want. Okay. Uh, that's a negative one. Okay. Yay. Uh, roll. We love that. Give me natural 20, baby. That's a three. He pissed himself. I just looked down like, ugh. All I know Rose is actual die gets, gets four minus one still. God damn it, fuck these dice. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, yeah, so. They get, the poor banjo player seems to have pissed himself already in the morning. Uh, do, or oh. at night due to uh, Iris's threat. Before he starts blubbering out something about the king. He, The king has been looking for. Uh, the king has been looking for you guys. Uh. He sent the city guard, and then he sent me. The green thing is... It's a... Fucking like a sing stone, like a scryer's orb. What? If somebody's, on the, if somebody's on the other side looking through a... Similar material, they can see through the uh, gem. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Like a, like, like a looking glass or something? Like, thing like that, like the Palantir kind of stuff, like 
Yeah. yeah. I can't think of what the fucking thing is actually called, but you, you know what I mean. The captain goes, hey, are there any birds outside? Does anybody want to peek outside? Nope. Oh, I'm right by the door. I'll peek outside. Uh, all right, roll a uh, perception. There are many keys. Right, I'm gonna roll perception as well because I think I know what I want to do with it. Uh, oh, that is a 19 plus one. There are no 20. fucking birds, <laughs> there are no fucking birds out there. Damn it. <laughs> Damn, I was getting hungry. Damn, if there, were any, if there were any birds, I was going to fucking put the necklace on one of them and then have the bird just fly away with it so that the king looks through and he just gets an aerial view like, what the fuck? Of course, my banjo man. <laughs> like, so you're an agent of the king. Huh? This is the racist king we're talking about, right? Yep. Yes, this is the racist king, not the prince. Okay. Prince is good. King is bad. Okay, king tell me bad. what he wants. What prince is it good. Prince makes good, good music. He, uh, the, the, he knows that the prince is trying to assert him. He does not. Okay, you know what? Fuck this, that goddamn accent. Okay, look, I'm just a regular guy from the city. You know, I got paid to come follow you guys after the fucking guard seemed to screw this shit up. I don't want to die, man. I don't want to die. Like, well, that sounds like you picked the wrong profession. What are we going to do with him? As I begin to pull rope out from my bag. <laughs> I mean, you guys are... Yeah, you know, go for it. I can... Banjo Man just seems to be vehemently staring at the uh, crystal. Captain just Stare. goes... <laughs> Captain goes, I have an idea. We stash... And we stash the, the scrying crystal in a bush for the night, and then we just leave him outside with it and hit in the morning. And How big up. is this scrying crystal, DM? Um, so I'm about, about to do something length. very in- about two two what? <laughs> two nipples like <laughs> two nipples. No, uh, so it's it's on a uh, gold chain. Uh, the chain would be enough to go down in between the to the chest of a standard human. And like a the, pendant. Uh, yeah, like a pendant. Uh, and the crystal itself is about uh, 15 Yay millimeters big. by 30 millimeters. So he could swallow it. Yes, oh, he could no. swallow it. Okay. <laughs> in, in, in character, I'm, I'm very much going to go, why don't we just feed it to him? Then we won't have to deal with it for at least a day. And I'll growl at him. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just fucking, fucking with him now. Like, intimidating him and shit. <laughs> I think he wants us to feed it to him. Give me that. And I'll, I'll reach out for it. Uh, no, no, I don't get paid enough for this shit, man. You shouldn't have brought it here then, fool. I didn't know. They, I'm just a fucking poor man, all right? I'm like, well, I'll tell you what, you can bring it back to him and you can give it back to him after you shit it. <laughs> Matt, that, the crystal. I was? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's either that, it's either that, or this, and I will wave a vial of poison in front of him. It is. Uh, what is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where'd it go? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Where'd it go? He doesn't know where it is. go? I had like fucking ten of them in my fucking. Uh, no, that's not it. It's not the brain juice. Damn it. Did you just say brain juice? Yeah, I have a vial of brain juice. It's actually a potion. <laughs> <laughs> like it's either you eat crystal or you eat this. And I wave a poison. I know that I have the poison, and it gives him till midnight before it kills him. I just don't know where the item card is right now. He, uh, Banger Man just kind of looks over at Bogdan, looks back over at the captain with the crystal. He seems to be staring at the crystal more than the other vial. Like he, like he's made his choice. Matthew. 
Oh, uh, fucking hell. <laughs> Enter stage left. Um, Enter stage left, yeah. All right, buddy. What's up? Bottoms up. Hold on, what did I just wake up from a nap and we're shoving down the throat? <laughs> uh, we're shoving a scrying crystal sleep. down his throat. Oh. I heard just shoving down the throat, and I'm like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> this man basically brought a, a magical GoPro into our hideout, and we're shoving the magical GoPro down his throat. Roll a dex check to see if you get bit by him. Uh, Me? Uh, yeah. If he bites okay. him, I kill him? Hold up. You can do whatever you want, okay. but... <laughs> That's... Okay. I just wanted to double check that. Clear. Can I help by holding his mouth open. Do I have advantage if I if he does that? Wait, if you hold his mouth open, you don't have to worry about the dax check. You just can't. You just can't use your other hand, so you'd have to put your void blade up. Yeah, I can do that. I can summon it at will. So I'll just. So you just pry open the guy's mouth. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Eighteen. Okay. Uh, well. With, ba- with a Bogdan seemingly uh, forcing his claws into the ma- to the banjo man's mouth, holding his jaw open. You shove the what the you shove the whole pen. In, you didn't even bother taking off the chain. You just shoved the whole thing in his mouth and just forced it down there until you can visibly see the chain go down the back of his throat as the poor guy's just coughing. <laughs> Captain just but looks right over now. at the guy and he goes, oh, trust me, buddy. It's going to be worse on the other end. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucked up. <laughs> that's like logical. I just made him eat something that was fucked up, but that's yeah, brutal. <laughs> do you guys let the banjo man go, or are you just going to... What are you going to do with him now? <laughs> I pick his banjo up and I smash it on the ground. Oh, it's already so, smashed. It was smashed already it. broken, right. but now it's smashed, smashed more. All right. it. No mending spell is gonna fix it. <laughs> <laughs> he just he just starts air doing air banjo on the way out. <laughs> so, you guys letting the uh, banjo man leave? No, no. Uh, I think oh, we'll no. further questions for him. No, 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 no Oh no! What, what are you doing today, then? <laughs> oh dear! So you're you're gonna touch him? Mm-hmm. My, my, my hand has been, been, been on his throat. throat. Oh, yeah, I'm aware. Wait, is Vampiric a cantrip or is it a? No, you can't use it yet. Yeah! <laughs> uh-huh. You can't use it yet because it's a third level. You stop. You have to finish out the long rest. So, ban- banjo man, uh, you, oh, try, you try to close your finger on him. You, you try closing your finger on him, but nothing seems to happen as you have not uh, regained your ability to use your spell just yet. And the poor man, pit, have, are, having already pissed himself, just scrambles out the door and starts running the hell away. <laughs> he just he's running faster than a regular human can run at this point. I mean. The poor guy walked forward, went down into a house. It just had the most unwelcoming encounter ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, he walked in to try and spy on us, so... Yeah, yeah with a freaking GoPro necklace, like he fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> they probably already know where we are. We might need to get moving. Oh, okay. Well... Nope. So as, as the night continues on, everybody cycles through their shift. Uh, nothing else seems to happen of any consequence uh, through the rest of the long rest. Uh, so it is now dawn of the next day. Got to move my little marker over here. It is now the dawn of the final day. Oh, God. Oh God. <laughs> At dawn, look to the east. Oh, wait, wrong movie. Sorry. That was brutal. <laughs> what was brutal? The uh, switch? No. <laughs> said the the, fact, that, the okay. fact that you guys all went along with that was awesome. 
<coughs> Why the so, hell did my alignment switch? What the <laughs> fuck is wrong with Aurora? So everybody seems to be now awake. Uh, you don't hear any uh, sound coming from the gnome's workshop anymore, but you could just hear the loud snoring of an individual who's probably stayed up a little too long. Uh, Ulrich and Nubs seemingly have, did not wake up throughout the entire incident. Uh, <laughs> that was my fault. <laughs> so, you, you guys are, you guys have collectively gathered in the main area. Uh, the door's still broken. Nobody bothered fixing the door at night. So, <laughs> sunlight's just blaring through the front and front door since there's no windows. <laughs> I also walk up, kind of shaking my legs through my kill. God damn it, fix the door. I thought it was a little fucking drafty last night. I've uh, got you're, no you're smart right. ass comment for that. My brother, <laughs> you were a dragon, you don't get cold. <laughs> you are cold blooded. Your mage friend is sitting not... out at the front of the door. It's just mean like, it's not drafty. You guys had a draft? Magi, you son of a gun! Where the fuck were you last night? Uh, outside, since I apparently destroyed the rum that I didn't know existed. <laughs> were you putting? Time Why on? is the rum gone? <laughs> anyway, you're lucky I forgot about that. All right. Oh, so which uh... way do we go? Do we go to castle or do we go to? Do we get to go to the orcs? I say we go try fucking trekking down Genovese, the Edis fortress. Why am I so fucking small? Because <laughs> yeah. everyone's, everyone's bases are matched to the squares. So, there we go. I mean, you are a walking pussy. <laughs> hey, listen here. Fucking scale wall. <laughs> oh, my God. Or it's just a walking bad dragon advertisement. You know what? You know what? You, you know what? You're goddamn right because uh, that one bandit found out real quick what Bad Dragon was all about. <laughs> right oh my God. Uh, so you, you guys are a few hours away from the city. Uh, there's going to be... But nobody can hear anything as far as anything coming on the road. Uh, it's still early enough that most travelers probably wouldn't be out. Hmm. So... Well, I don't want my to the town I'm, I'm I my think, uh... muted. What's up? I said I'm off my computer. Move my character if it's needed. Okay. So I, I'll, I'll say to the group, uh, we definitely should get a move on. I think uh, if they were watching, they saw the whole thing. Yeah. 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 I I vote to go to the castle, but along the way, check out that orc camp. I'm good for good orc killing. No killing, just Savages. yet. Savages. Um, if you go to the orc encampment, it's gonna be a lot. It's gonna take you about a day and a half to travel. Yeah. Or go to the castle first. At, at least on foot. So. so you head into the castle? Yes. All right. All right. At least to me, that it makes sense to me. Yeah, makes no, sense no. to me too. That's, that's fair. All right. Sorry, it's finishing up the. Uh, so. You guys seem to <laughs> grab your minis, get it off the table. Oops, I can pack. I can pack the thing. Can't zoom out. Can't zoom out. Okay. <laughs> and Magi, thank you. Somebody grab the Magi. Then I could get these. Are they, these, these two can stay. And what the pack? The latest McFetus. Oh, okay. did McFetus. What? You forget your character? No, I dropped it into my freaking into the pink box. I <laughs> put it in a pink box. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Yeah, so, um, no, I'm the only one who got that. Apparently. Apparently. So as you guys are continually traveling, uh you find the valley. The valley is unmistakable at this point. The uh train scales up uh over you guys uh, the edges of the valley are the uh the edges of the valley freaking towering 30 40 plus feet over a up a steep steep rock face 
the cap the captain's keeping his wrist mounted crossbow up up, up looking at the peaks I just, uh, just scanning the cliff faces who is in the lead out of curiosity oh, man. Who, I think we probably send all right. We'd send the we'd port. send the meat shield. Meat shield? Yes. Okay. So oh, by the way, babe, you do have all your spells now. You, you guys did finish the long rest. You get all you have all your spells. Yes, again. yes. Just you have to have a long rest as a caster to get your spells back. That's that's gay. gay. Yeah, well, so that's spells. You can use cantrips, but not spells. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I found them. okay. So um, if Ulrich goes first, uh, then as he looks onward, uh, the query, uh, you can see the, uh, as the sun starts rising up, you can start seeing the, uh, entrance to the fort. Towering walls, the, about 40, 50 feet, almost dwarfs the valley. But there's something odd within your, within the vision as you walk forward. For Auric and Neldril. Define odd. Almost like you can see a shift in the uh, in the material realm. Almost like it's kind of like a haze. You as you look forward, it looks normal. Like every, every everything looks to be where the, where it should be. But every now and then you see a glimpse of almost like something that was altered, whether it be the grass was now dead and on fire, the rub or the uh, walls now rubble. But as you focus again, it would appear as it does now. A stone structure, fully intact, grass is growing, um, the water's murky, but probably because it's being used as the runoff for the drainage in the castle. <laughs> oh, I... I put up a hand to kind of stop the group, and then fucking, I'm just like, I look over at Bogdan, and I say, or I motion for him to come up here. Or I got a bad feeling about this. As Bogdan comes up behind you guys, he doesn't see anything that you two have. It just looks completely normal to him. Doesn't look like a mirage, nothing. It's just plain as day vision. Camelot, Camelot, Camelot. It's only a model. <laughs> Do you see? Me? Am I tripping, or or you you see in this bullshit too? Oh, oh. Probably do a perception check and see if I can see something. Go for it. You see nothing. Uh, yeah, I don't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> Like, why do you guys keep asking me? I'm not, I'm not any good. I'm, I'm, I'm half blind in my right eye. Like, <laughs> you're telling me you can't see with your cat eyes. You, you can't see the shift in the terrain. At night, that'd be great. But you know, it's it's like right now, it's kind of shit. Sometimes it's kind of good. Man. Sometimes it's kind of shit. You know, <laughs> Catman, what do your cat eyes see? Wow. Oh God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Um. I, I look at Nardo, I'm like, so you see it too. I I see it. <sighs> I got a bad you see it. So I, I, I look back at Captain and apparently also captain down does at not, Just to clarify, even the captain cannot see this. Yeah. No, I, I, I know, but I, that's why I was saying I was looking down because I am taller than him. Um, so you? it's yeah, I'm 6'6". Yes. Six, six. Captain's six feet even. Ah, okay. I'm six six. I'm six five, then you're six six. Anyway, I'm six six six. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry. Because you're five five five. Anyways, um, so it would appear. Yes. That. My bad. Rose watching me... something. <laughs> <laughs> that to me and Nordral being dragonborn are the only two able to see. Um, looking towards the fortress, every now and then it looks like a, a shimmer, as in a magical bullshit. Like as in how y'all see 
everything looks nice and normal. And then it shimmers to where everything is absolutely fucking destroyed. And I got a bad feeling about this. Hmm. So you're saying it might be the same thing we saw in the village. That's actually what exactly what I'm thinking. Except it might not somebody actually remember that. <laughs> except it might not be nearly as strong like in the village because we weren't able to see the distortion like this in the village. Not this cleanly. Hmm. I recall there being oh, some oddness and obfuscation at uh, the Wee. other king's castle, too. Maybe this is related. Ulrich, my brother, you mean to tell me you've seen this before? Eleven what? times, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Shut up, Pierce. <laughs> <laughs> Once, but we haven't seen it since, and I hadn't, and it hadn't crossed my mind until, well, now. Ironically, it was when we kind of all first met and got started on this hippity hoppity fuckity journey. Um, well, there's been hippity and hoppity. I'm not so sure about fuckity. <laughs> uh, as you guys seem to be sitting there in the valley debating, uh, you can, uh, can you I, start can I have a talking stick real quick. You got talking stick? Go for talking stick. Please. Real quick. Talking stick goes um, to this man. No, Joel will look back at uh, Iris and be like, Lady Death, have you seen this before? Never. I, I thought you seen you being the death domain, you've seen some, like, some kind of this shit before. We don't see glimmering shiny, shiny stuff. stuff. They don't say the shiny shit! Yeah, they yeah. do. <laughs> hmm. I can see the Motley Crew with my vampire here. <laughs> <laughs> we, bitch of horse, we go. So, as, you, as you guys start approaching a, uh, as you guys start approaching the castle, uh, cautiously, obviously. Uh, I have my axe out just in case because I, I I have a bad feeling about this. You uh, you can hear pull the rapier out of it. Yeah. You can hear easily through uh, the valley because of the uh, reverberations from the uh, from the land masses. You just start hearing that a deep whoosh all over again, almost exactly. As I think our old the... party member is here. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> We're in trouble. Uh, so the the original three. You can the original oh, three. Oh no. Are, uh, in the uh, underground the caverns, you can hear a very familiar uh, flapping of the wing, that deep uh, humming bass. And it is not just one you hear, because it almost sounds in sequence and rapid fire. Captain just looks up and he goes, Griffins. I, I look back at the captain and nod once as I grip it, uh, tighten my grip on my axe. And look at Bogdan. Tighten your uh, griffin and, lay, and aim for the griffin. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't you ever seen what a 20-foot flashlight looks like? Watch me get a hold of this griffin. Um, Jesus Christ. <laughs> does anybody, does anybody want to look up to the sky? No. Yes. I, I don't want to see what? the flashlight action. No, I, don't I don't either. either. <laughs> somebody, somebody wants to look up to the sky? Uh, yes, uh, I'm uh, up uh, to the uh, sky uh, to see these griffins coming down at us. Ro roll a perception to see if you can count how many are coming through the sun. Oh, Lord, hang Wait, on. Wait, through the to... sun? I, hold, on, hold on, you said how many? <laughs> yeah, he said there were many. He said no shit. Like, we uh, have to disappear. <laughs> perception, okay, that's oh, plus oh, four. That would be... I'll look I think up, we're I guess. all looking for that, so oh, yeah. Uh, Everybody that's starts gonna looking be up. 13 for me. <laughs> so now come I'm going to be able to see it. Oh, come on, 13. <laughs> all of a sudden, you just say, Crabby from Dundas! Hi! Oh, wait. <laughs> Sorry, oh, wrong universe. Okay. All right, someone get to the crow's nest. As the entire party seems to be scanning this guy, uh, a few of you are able to. Uh, Specifically, Neldril and Bogdan are able to uh, see in as they as they look up into the sun. 
covering their eyes a bit because I mean it's it's bright as shit. It's a it's a sun. Uh, you each can almost point out seven griffins making oh, their way down no. towards you guys. Take him away. And for for uh, information, the sun is the sun is to you guys' rear. It's to it's towards yellow. Not ignore what the map is. That's just what the lighting was on a dungeon are they, alchemist. Are they flying towards us? They're flying towards you guys. They're about mm, give or take about a mm, kilometer, kilometer and a half away. Are they dive Come, bombing towards us? They are definitely making haste towards your location, not specifically diving yet. Uh, I think like we should have a fucking party. Fucking scatter. Hi. We must go. All right. But where do you yeah. hide? There's no... Uh, remember that. Your plunk. Dives in the fucking water. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys yeah, gotta... Gonna... Yeah, or, that gotta trust like, me, we must run. I gotta run. go. <laughs> must what? We need to run, brother. Yeah. Not gonna hear me complain. The captain's gonna run in, uh, run and go, like hug the cliff wall, blend into the shadows of the cliff wall. Don't bother blending in, lads. Get your sea legs into there. We must get to the castle immediately. I don't know, I don't how, to know how to swim. swim. So I guess you're on the choice of the castle. <laughs> I take off like a well dragon out of hell for the castle. It's like shit, 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 shit. Morgan, you mad lad? Let's get in here. Uh, I'm gonna I... fucking. Uh, can I get under the water? I'm assuming I can. So like before you it. yeet your character into the water, uh, <laughs> that was just funny. I wasn't actually. Hold on, hold on. You to Does Bogdan catch a turd in the mouth? Does Bogdan catch a turd in the mouth? <laughs> no. <laughs> Nobody I catches a turd in the mouth. <laughs> Nobody catches a turd in the mouth. God damn it! As you guys start running <laughs> forward. Good water. As you guys start running forward, you, her Neldril and or they can visibly see where that barrier was as they ran through it. Everybody else, as you guys started running through, you start uh, you can almost look forward and you see the differences as you hit that haze. Or you guys don't see the haze, but once you hit the uh, just on the outside of the valley, that's when you start seeing the castle almost in ruins. The uh, the walkways on top have fires raging from the top and as you guys look behind you there are destroyed siege equipment everywhere laid across the valley and the uh the path what if our castle being out in the middle of the valley this explains a lot um but unfortunately as you guys look behind you and you guys see that those griffins are still running at you this time they are not just regular griffins they are griffins that are on fucking fire Oh my. Unfortunately, the door the door to the castle is closed at the moment. How big is the door? The door is roughly uh, 10 feet by 20 feet tall. Or oh. put your back into it, bash the door down. I was going to say, I was say Revin, you already knew where I was going with that. <laughs> Geronimo! I mean, uh, no, I don't think that'll work. That door's too big for me to do that. Plunk. <laughs> <laughs> just, he's, man's he's just dying. gonna go oh, into the dear. water. Man's how, just how gonna go a train wall. into <laughs> it. Fucking sick! So, shut the fuck up. So what are you gonna do with the door? You gonna open it? You gonna push it? You gonna pull it? You gonna hack at it? You gonna I'm gonna run up and, the door. No, I'm gonna run up and fucking bull slam the shit out of it and see if I can fucking get this thing open. Roll a strength check. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just roll a strength check for that one. Oh, how how big is, how wide is the door? It is about ten feet wide. Ten feet wide. I'll I'll bash it with him. You know what? Fuck it. Go for it. Uh, in your haste, Ulrich bounces off the door on his side, on the left side of the door. Uh, Neldro, on the other hand, seems to bash through his. Uh, Damn it, Ravage, you took my idea. <laughs> making, Not it in, ma making it inside. I, yeah, ignore the fucking grid. Uh, can I actually match this real quick? He almost had it. Yeah, close enough. 
Anyway, so he Metal Joe bashes through the right side of the door. Orc bounces off his. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately uh, Orc also happened to land into the handle of the door. Ooh. <laughs> because I guess, you know, his side was a pole. <laughs> you, you, you just had to spin that and make me a marine right there, didn't you? <laughs> so, uh, for reference, the inside of this uh, whole wall is uh, covered. So if you guys get inside, you'll be fine. They can't see you right. from the top. Nothing can see you from the top. So. <laughs> oh no! The cat As the party runs the up, way you and y'all go full speed ahead, you scallywags! Hurry up! I hate you, Preston. <laughs> Gotta sh shrink everybody. You know, <laughs> I hate this because I thought I exported it without the grid, and then it did it with the grid anyway. So hold on, hold on, Magi, come here, Magi. Oh yeah, he's there too. I forget about. Him. We <laughs> cannot forget. We cannot forget our friend. All right, so you guys managed to get inside. Hold on, I as soon as we get in, I say everybody, fucking don't move. Is it and, is it, this it, movement based on sight? I don't know. It might be a flying fucking T-Rex. Well, let's fucking wait and see. <laughs> What's a T-Rex? As uh, you, you guys, as one of you guys, as you can look out through the uh, door that has been shattered open by Neldrill, uh, the Griffins are moving towards their location, but the, as soon as they hit where the haze was that Neldrill and Oryx saw, they disappear. They disappear what? or they turn into something else? They disappear entirely. They disappear. What on earth? Oh, uh, why did I have a feeling that was meant to push us this way? Alright, so now you guys are inside. Uh, this is just uh, the only thing about this. The, these walls don't go any farther than where you can see down the thing. It's just something yeah. really fucking lazy and it just hollowed out a wall. Yeah. Actually, build the whole freaking thing and waste all the materials. All right, weapons up, everybody. I don't know what the hell we're walking into, but I got a bad feeling about this. Because if those things have magically chased us and then disappeared, <laughs> I think they were pushing us this way on purpose. So. Yeah. And judging by the strong out siege army. I got a bad oh, feeling about one. this. Okay, uh, pull everybody's models off. Uh, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ulrich, something tells me we're not going to have a good time, laddie. Oh, no, something tells me we're... It, I got a bad feeling, but something tells me we're going to have a hell of a party and things are going to get skippy one way or another. Something tells me you're going to have a bad time. While I enjoy a party, brother, I do not think this is the kind of party we would like. Now that I would have to agree. All of a sudden, oh, yeah. you just hear you just hear a clanking of bone. <laughs> it's a beautiful day outside. Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. On days like this, adventurers like you should be burning in hell. <laughs> you guys are when did my ashes... Oh, wait, like, what the yeah, fuck is this guy on about? <laughs> I, 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 I was gonna say, when the fuck did Rylar get here? Like, oh, when, <laughs> when, when did my ashes spawn enter stage right? Like, what the fuck? Wait, what? Oh, yeah, he's got a, another character. He's got winning in case he dies. Oh. Yep. I have a dragonborn ashen spawn uh, sorcerer. Oh, wow. yeah, no, I was just making a joke of Sans from Undertale. Who, <laughs> what, Andy? You're predictable, aren't you? <laughs> what? Dragonborn every time. Dragonborn. Um, no, dragon. actually, it was the, uh, what's the fucking, the bonus to it? There, oh, no, he, I was, he, he was trying to min-max that one. <laughs> oh, he's <laughs> rules lawyer. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, no, we actually. We can talk I, about I, rules lawyering. We can talk about Riz. That motherfucker. <laughs> I had a uh, lizard folk monk, uh, and at level 17, he had like 600 movement speed between Sweet his boots fuck. of speed and just all the other fucking stuff. Like, he was practically supersonic. He was fucking amazing. 
Jesus Christ. Like, my DM let me run straight up a 50-foot wall one time and jump 60 feet into the air to catch a dragon's tail. <laughs> like, he was spectacular. <laughs> okay, so everybody sees a bunch of black boxes across the thing, right? Like, mm -hmm. you can't yeah. see into it. Why yeah. they gotta be black? Because they can't change their color. Duh. <laughs> What else do you think, dumbass? Because the Michael Jackson surgery for boxes isn't invented yet. Right. What? That was racist. That was not racist. <laughs> Racism. That is a legitimate surgery. There is a. I'm gonna put a fucking ring on my goddamn Twitch thing for this shit now. Ring. <laughs> like the racist uh, spell that uh, Womble uh, has. Bong. So where are we going? Uh, one second. Okay. Anyway, uh, so you guys are you guys have made your way through. Uh, there's there's a lot of fields. Uh, bits and pieces almost seem to be back into what you guys originally saw, which was green, gra mm -hmm. fresh grass, and the other was barren land and corpses, corpses everywhere. Something happened here. I just look at the iris. Your handiwork? No. Something happened. I, this here. was not no sea witch, let me tell you. No, but I wasn't want to piss her off. No, I take that. I agree with, brother. That I agree with. Um, can I? You... Can I roll Arcana? Make sure it's not chaos magic. I was. Hold on. Yes, you can. So okay. What's up? Are they, are they bloody? bloody? They are not bloody. They are... They're just... Can charred I... corpses. Why did Why you do that to me? Why would you do that to me? 14. Megan, if you start chanting the fucking little saying from the mummy for the five guards, I'm gonna lose my shit. <laughs> I actually know that. So, oh my god. Um, so, uh, you can see the uh, main complex in front of you. A elaborate uh, stone structure. Um, looks to be there's a chapel on the very far side. Um, doesn't look like there's a second level. They might be able to run over the top of it, but there's nothing that would indicate anything else. Uh, the door in front is just a giant wooden door in front of you, and th whatever structure this is, there is no... There are no uh, windows. All right. You, you, yes, can I'll see the, point. you, you can see the little door right there, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, okay. I can see where it would be. Yes, this is not 3D because trying to fucking do this in 3D almost gave me a goddamn aneurysm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I need to change the grade one second. To match. There we go. Close enough. Anyway, anyway. Uh -huh. It's okay. It's okay. It yeah. Uh, well, we'll just no, no, no. I can just do this instead. Okay. Uh, we'll just turn off snapping. Uh, can I just? Can I just it's turn off huge. the fucking grid? Okay, I turn off the grid. Okay. Uh, Yay! No. Turn it, so, just for this, because it's such a pain in the ass to match up, I'm turning off your snapping on the grid. Just put your characters roughly in the center where you see the fucking gray lines. As you can see, uh, so like this hallway written that you guys are about to walk into is a four by. So, Ulrich's taking point, I suppose. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right. So. Since he wants to. You push on the door. And the door opens this time. As you walk in, as you as you walk inside, you can see a long entranceway. Uh, as he tries to yeet himself through. <laughs> uh The hallways are lit up. There doesn't seem to be any 
corpses or any signs of life inside here. What was that roll for? Perception. Like in case if anything was uh, ironically trapped or you, you know. Cannot, you cannot see anything as of yet. Uh, the hall is it's about a 60 foot long hallway. There's a door to the right, a giant iron door and a wooden door towards the front. Uh, in the hallway, there's almost like there's a couple points where people might have to stand guard, but you do not see anything at this point. Okay, so I'll walk up to the first door on the right and try and put my ear against it, see if I can hear anything through the door. Uh, all you can hear is the crackling of flames from the torches on the other side. Guard, get back here. You be passing me on point. <laughs> I look. I look back at the group. We want to go to this one or to that one. Can we open the door? Well, we, we the door is not the problem. It's which way do we want to go first? Do we go left is or it... do we go straight or right or straight? Too many rules. Just inside? the door. Does Iris go in? She isn't. As she walks in, I you can hear the door shut behind. You hear the door shut behind her. Out of character. Uh -oh. Is this fucking straw or something? What the fuck? Well, so long as we, so long as we don't, don't all of a sudden see the torches start flickering. The strawed. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's right. Our souls. <laughs> as the door shut behind you guys. Come play with me. It Jackie. wasn't done by gravity, and it wasn't done by wind. <laughs> All right, we're going through the right door. I'm going to see if I can open the door on the right. Well, we better try the door before make sure we have an exit. We don't know what's going That's... to be in here. Is, it, is the door that closed a wooden door? Is that door? door small enough? I'm not it worried about door, floor yes. in it. You're like Vox Machina. You have problems with doors, don't you? No. <laughs> does it, so does anybody want to try the door? Because I heard somebody wanting to try the door, and then I heard somebody ask about the door being wood. So the door I'll, you guys I'll came walk, through I'll walk over work. and double check the door. I'll try it. And now I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You walk up, you try you try the door. As you stick your finger out. Nothing happens. But the door doesn't move. Okay. So I but now, the door. <laughs> you fingered the door. Oh my god. I will I will give it an actual like college try and actually try and open it. <laughs> We need a rogue. You, you, you can hear the I'm door. Sorry, did somebody call for a rogue? <laughs> <laughs> I have sleight of hand. I I had a rogue in my crew once. I have sleight of she hand in the lock picking pack. <laughs> I knew it. So you you give the the door a college try. You can hear everything rattle, but nothing. The door just does not move or does not speak. Alrighty, <laughs> the rogue is coming through. Now it's the rogue's turn. What does the rogue do? What does Captain Matt do? I am going to use my lock picking oh, pack. And I get okay. a dirty 20. I love, I love how Preston clearly locked us in here to kind of keep us moving in this direction. And we're trying to go back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be moved forward. Well, uh, as uh, the captain seemingly pulls out his lock picking kit that nobody has seen before, as he, uh, he moves towards I, the lock. I, I, I just decide, fuck it, and I'm going through the door over here on the right. He, oh, I'm going with lock, him. Though, there is, he tries to stick his lock picking tool in there, and he hits a resistance. There's something blocking the keyhole. Mm -hmm. It yells, I said no! Consent, <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker! I'm about to say, it yells, no means no! <laughs> Stay no, inside! We're no, all Daddy, bad not people. that hole. <laughs> oh, my God. We are all bad people. <laughs> oh. so, no, Father Johnson, yeah. no! Um, your, lock, your lock picking tool does Jeez. not seem to be effective against said door. <laughs> okay, well, time to move forward. Okay, and I okay, open so the door and go through. Opens the door. Except you can't open oh, the door because he has a problem with doors, so he just runs into the door. No. <laughs> just runs. The iron door the iron door opens. 
slowly, uh, considering the weight of the door and the not strike check that was done. Uh, there's a locked door, again, at the end of it. Uh, it looks to be almost like a grand entranceway. Pillars lining up along the hallway, along with uh, torches that are along the wall. And there seems to be four hooks on the other side next to where the door is. Define hooks. What kind of hooks are we talking about? Like uh, they just no 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 not like fucking meat hooks. They're just they're hooks along the wall that seem to be, and there there's an opening in the wall where each hook is. Like there's enough that the hooks can move down. Uh, hmm. Oh wait, I can click this. Now, can I? Bitch, if you started putting Resident Evil puzzles in here, I'm gonna come up and backhand you. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna come backhand me. Why would you backhand me? What did I do? Pimp name slip back. Gotta keep that pimp pants strong. Before we start screwing with the hooks, pee break? Yeah, you can pee break. We've had some just comedic gold shit tonight. Oh my god. You guys are terrible, all of you. I feel bad. <laughs> That's rich coming from you, you're, motherfucker. You're your friends. You're the one who started all of this. What, what does that say about me, then? Exactly. <laughs> He's over here, so like, stupid? berating us. Y'all are bad people. My god. Hot kettle. So Critical <laughs> Role made, um... Vexalia and Vax's, uh... figure. It's $140. Oh yes. my god! Oh, it's I tall. want it's it. Huge. It's huge. Dear it god. Is, and I want it. Because my boy is in there. Oh, that was some weirdo. I need a pop. Ooh, Note enough. card name. Yeah, apparently. Sorry, my pee break turned into a journey in the kitchen. One moment. Shit, you're fucking pee break turned into that. I'm about to fucking just go take a shit. Okay, I'm gonna go Jesus first. Christ. Okay, go, go pee. Jesus Christ. Fire in the hole! Ferris, you act like this is no! the worst shit that's ever been said while mm. gaming, especially considering our old armor days. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> like, our so... old armor days back when, like, beepers and wizard when they were bad, make us look like altar boys. Wizard yeah, that's like, true. Inward. Yeah, but 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 not as bad as Bad Rat and Ramakad being. Oh, Bad Rat and Ramakad were yeah, worse. Not as bad as Bad Rat Ramakad, and you guys didn't know him, but Bad Rat and I did. Gingy. He was. Do I even, do I even want to know? Oh, oh fierce. Do you remember who um, Bad Rat came in with? It was a dot. Was his name Doc or something? Doc, yeah, Doc, yes, yeah, Doc, Doc, Bad Rad, yeah, oh. Doc, Bad Rad, Gingy, and I were all in in the same unit okay. back in the day. Mm -hmm. Gingy, are, yeah, Gingy was the XO, dogs. and let me tell you, you thought Bad Rad was bad? Like, Bad Rad was a freaking edgelord back in the day. Gingy made Bad Rad look like a freaking saint. All I'm saying is that one day that bug gonna be like, we're like, Bad Rad, you're in charge. Okay, what? And we left. It was hilarious. Yeah, that was... Oh. That was a nightmare. So if I do that... I'm trying to find a way I can put this in with fucking... Funny enough, that's like the only memory of Bad Rad that I have. Oh, oh, I have like many... I have many, many memories. memories. Besides that, yeah. I have many memories of Bad Rad. Most of them involve him screaming, Fierce! Get! Fierce! Stop admiring your own explosions and get your ass in gear! We got a QRF coming! You know, the only thing that sucks about the temperature getting down to 50 degrees at night in Florida is that my AC turns off. And then oh, yeah. I'm sitting on top of a fucking... I'm sitting on top of a Ryzen system, so, of course, my office gets up to 100 fucking degrees. Oof. So I'm over here. I'm like, why am I sweating at 10 o'clock at night? <laughs> okay, so I cannot get the projector to work, but I do have everything I need anyway. So I'll be back in a second, and then we shall continue this. Alrighty. Mostly because Trig 
just has to use the same bathroom as me. Weirdo. That's what you get for living with a woman. <laughs> like, bro, go use a different bathroom. Uh, I pay for this one. See? There you I, go. You want to talk shit, Trick? Put your mic down. Yeah, you pay for her bathroom, buddy. That's what you do. <laughs> I paid for my gun, too, but she's took that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. She doesn't even deny that. <laughs> she's, like, she's like, hi, I like this gun. And I'm like, hi, I like this gun, too. It's mine now. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Okay, it is. <laughs> and then I went and bought me a new gun. <laughs> I don't think I've ever accused you of being whipped up until this point, but now I'm beginning to think. <laughs> you might well, be. He gave, he gave me an excuse to go buy that FNX9. Yep. You hear Austin down there laughing his ass off. Yep. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, in fairness, he would be whipped also if he actually had any chance to get a girl. Oh. Ooh. Me oh. or Austin? Well, oh, both of you. I mean, you both are terrible with women, so... Oh, I'm terrible with women. Oh, here we I'm go. Here we go. And, and, <laughs> and, and I won't let them walk all over me. Not that Megan does that, but you know. No. I think Megan's no. one of the good ones. Like, doing that for you. I have a shitty choice in women. Let's get it right. Oh, well, that's where you and Andrew are the exact same. Yeah. You guys both have shitty choice for women. I can't say anything. I have shitty choice in women, too. I mean, yeah, we know. Yeah. Between us, it, 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 it actually required paperwork. It's like, let's talk about that X for a minute. <laughs> let's talk about that. Let's not. <laughs> let's not and say we didn't. I thought it was let's not and say we did. No, no let's it's... not and say we did. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> But I yeah, mean, no. at least my Usually it's let's not and else. say we did, but this one is let's not and say we didn't. I mean, even my dad talks shit about my ex, so let's <laughs> be real. That's how you know it's bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's time for some shit, liquor. Bitch. I don't have any ice. Fuck. Get wrecked. <sighs> I guess I'm going to have to drink some whiskey neat. Cool. But Alrighty. I mean, at uh, uh, least in my credit, I keep trying now, so. Oh. So. As you guys, uh, who's all in the room? Is it just Auric and I'm in the Meltor? corner. You're in the corner. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he's being like a cat. usual. I got sent to the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cats. Anyway, okay. So you guys uh, walk through, uh, checking the pillars out. Uh, the pillars have, or generally just cut stone. You know, kind of a hasty construction. And as you get down, as you look on, towards the door, you can see the door has got some writing inscribed across the iron. Uh, and the hooks just sit off to the sides. Two on the left and two on the right. I will creep up to about here and check for traps. You check for traps? Roll your check for traps. Fuck, I don't have my character sheet open. Hold on. Oh, that was oh, 17, no, but there think. are no traps. Good. Okay. <laughs> there are no traps. Not in this room. Wait, not in this room? Uh-oh. Ah. Uh, that was a Freudian slip, I swear! Oh, no. <laughs> uh, as no door gets closer... <laughs> as no door gets closer, he can see... Visibly now, the hooks are the hooks, the hooks. aren't as much of hooks as they are levers. Oh, they're levers. Yes, of course they are. It's a doom puzzle. No, ah. let's get real. It's a doom. <laughs> it's a fucking doom nineteen eighty seven puzzle. <laughs> right. Uh. Where's the blue key card? <laughs> It's a Resident Evil puzzle. When we pull down all four levers, all the do all the walls are gonna fall down in the room around us, and enemies are gonna come out. <laughs> oh boy well what does it say right, on the how many levers are there wow. uh, there are four I vote we pull all of them one through four first and see what happens I'm going to read the door before we do that oh 
So as you go up and you read, you start reading the door. I really should have just made this a bigger fucking thing, but I go make this a bigger font real quick. <laughs> that is impossible to fucking read when it's tiny. You're handing me a digital piece of paper right now. Yeah, <laughs> no. Nope. Later for the win. He's <laughs> handing me a digital note, everybody. <laughs> Something was spelled the load. No, that was me. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. I, I'm, I'm doing, I'm getting this. I have to fucking do some dumb shit with this, so. It's actually been, pre oh, I was just about to say, our, like, our connections have been really good all night, and then our latency shot up to, like, 300. Well. I will put my foot in my mouth now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I got Cheerios. <laughs> I want some. No. Fine. Reverend doesn't share size. food. <laughs> I have a Costco-sized bag of Doritos. God, and you wonder why <laughs> we all wonder why we're fat sometimes. And then we, I just hear our eating habits, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I realize we're old, so that doesn't help either. <laughs> and then it's like, oh god, what I would do to be eighteen and just eat whatever I want again. <laughs> Hi guys, <laughs> Rev, <laughs> fucking guy, just fucking showboating on us, fucking. Just you wait, motherfucker. Again. Just you wait. <laughs> wait until you're 30. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, do, 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 do. magical piece of paper, magical piece of paper. There's a magical piece of paper. I, I want to zoom in. Hold on. Hold the left alt. If you hold left alt, it'll bring up the... Uh, those of the dead that who take care of the living, may those who bring the Leviathan's cross temper her hate by the river. So who had money on Resident Evil puzzles? <laughs> Me. <laughs> what about Resident Evil puzzles? No, I was just it. making a joke. Are uh, are the words actually emphasized? The dead. Yes, the 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 bold, the bold words are actually emphasized. Yes. Okay. Dead living in the fine uh, I just or... I don't really have a way to emphasize it. You know, being scratched into a fucking door, other than hey, it's bold. Um, are there inscriptions like above or somewhere around the levers? Pictographic. Yeah. Good call. Uh, there is no. There is nothing. That no symbols. Indicates... Nothing. Uh, nothing except an arrow pointing towards the left. Like on all of them, or all, all the arrows, or the arrow? There's an arrow on the door that points to the left. Okay. You know, maybe indicating start to the left. <laughs> Those of the dead that who. Take Man, I have voted we go from what lever left all the way down to the right, one through four. All right. Fuck it. Okay, so does somebody want to pull a lever? Pull I'll pull the time. lever to the Yellow left. Eldra will pull lever one number one in the far left. Okay, yeah. never mind. Okay, I'll so just leave it right there and then jump on one of them and just randomly yank it. Don't just start pulling. We won't know what happens oh, if we do all too, of them at once. Too late, somebody. Well, in that case, lever. I'll just grab the lever and wait. I was being funny and speaking out of turn and out of character, so ignore me. Okay. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> well, I, I was just saying, like, the whole group. I'm being scientifical. I'm being smarter than my character actually is. No, actually, so... I'm pretty intelligent. I'm 13. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll pull the left one first. We'll see what happens when we pull that one. Who pulls the lever? I pull the lever. Pull the lever! So as, you begin, as, you begin, <laughs> as you begin to pull the lever, <laughs> you, you can feel that there is a counterweight on the back end of it. But as you pull it down, you can freely move it, and you can but you can't hear anything specifically locking or clicking in place. 
I, I think it worked. Catman, your turn. <laughs> I'll pull the second lever. Same thing, but you can you can feel a counterweight, and you can feel it in it. You can feel it freely move, but you can't discernibly tell if anything clicks. Alrighty. It's not I'm locking gonna, in place. I'm going to pull the third lever. Same thing. <laughs> you can feel a counterweight. I go and pull the other lever. How many times do I have to say same thing? You could same thing. How many levers are there? There are four. All, all the levers, well, everybody now has experienced that they are counterweights on the back end of the lever, but and nothing specifically clicks them into place. I say we're great at these puzzles, says I. <laughs> it's a cipher. <laughs> so think about uh, the words in the cipher. Those of the dead, those who take care of the living. So we have dead and li death and life. Where do those? Where are those? Life is at the be is at the beginning. Death is at the well, end. The how part. about this? Let's get so. the one person who deals with this shit up here. Lady oh. Death. I I rest. I bring Lady Death up to the front. I smell nepotism. <laughs> no, I'm Where are you at, you the winch? The look that fucking Megan just gave me. <laughs> you want me to do what? <laughs> You're making me do shit now, god damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good with riddles. Can can you oh, like no. type it to me so I can read it? Oh, it, it, it it's over it's on my paper. Though. Yeah, he's got the look paper. at paper. Life, death, life, death, life, death. So if you like, UFO. You, hold it over, if you hold over the paper and you hold left alt, it'll pop up on your screen. So put a, put your mouse over it. Hold left alt. Hold left alt. Oh. It's like you're reading it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, here's my logic. <laughs> Life and death are at opposite ends, right? So, we pull the dead lever first. The last one. And then we pull the first one, which is life. And then I don't know about the other two. I don't know what the fuck we're looking at. Why are there so many capital letters? Because I absolutely suck at holding shift. <laughs> uh... yeah, the only, the only, uh, were you trying to sprint I... through part of this? Is that what you were doing? Uh, Maybe bring fucking... Leviathan's cross, temper her hate by the river. <laughs> I blame Notepad plus plus, and then translating it back to Microsoft Word when I got my thing back. I got gotcha. uh, oh. you. No, that's not gonna work because it. You said it's uh, on each one of the pillars, right? I believe this Lever? Leviathan's cross is a crucif crucifix. No. Yes. No. Nah, see. See, I was thinking like Leviathan's cross. If the levers were not by the pillars, then it's like in between the pillars, and then the river, the center, and just straight away. But if all of the levers are on the pillars, then that makes no sense. Pretty well, sure we just had, the, we just pulled all the levers, right here, Captain. Right? I think they're all against this wall, right? I thought they were all against the pillars. No, they're all, they're up against the wall, the same wall that the door is. Oh. We just pulled them. I vote to be go straight in. Fuck the rules. To, perhaps we're not able to access this yet. Maybe we need to explore around a little bit and see if we can find... You, you must try the door first. You, you mean you must achieve additional story progress to proceed through this door? <laughs> Hey, Pepper. <laughs> hey, Matthew. Come here, baby. You yes. have the uh, luck picks, yes? Yes, I Would do. Like to give it a try. Yeah, I'll give it a try. I'll give it a shot. There, there's, there is no discernible keyhole for you to pick. Unfortunately, okay. <laughs> Captain just kind of looks at the door and he goes, "Yeah, the uh, lack that. of a lock hole here might present a problem." 
puts his lock you, uh, back away. I'm sorry to make you walk all the way over here, my bad. <laughs> all right, well, I guess we'll just go back through the other door then for now. Backing up. Backing up. Backing up. Backing so, up. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Before everybody fucking leaves the goddamn room. Fucking hell. Holy shit. <laughs> As you all turn and start walking back through the fuck to the fucking door, you can see on the back of the door something is hanging on it. Ooh, what's hanging? Oh, look. What's that? I appear to be missing. Oh, look. It's my ex-girlfriend. Oh, wait. Thank you. Uh, who who picks up the object? I am. I'm right here. I will, oh wait oh. As Bogdan picks up the object off of the back end of the. Uh, hold on, hold on, DM. What's about Magi? Does he try and do anything? Magi is just kind of here, quietly fucking hating himself because he missed every single spell last encounter. And I kind of insulted him too. <laughs> He, he he's kind of just sit, sit, sitting there self-wallowing at the moment under deep depression. I I, I actually don't understand that. Yeah, okay. Uh, you know, kind of like you did when you shot the whiteboard, but I mean, just, you know. Uh, hey, 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 hey. I'm streaming. Nobody, nobody knows about, know about that. that. What? Magi, you can't would come up to this he door. He took it to the range and he shot it, Megan. It's fine. We just we couldn't figure out why he took our whiteboard out and shot it. That's all. Like old yellow so that big. shit. <gasps> what a bitch. No. So as Bogdan pulls down the object and he turns it around, it explodes. Unfortunately, no. Uh, but unfortunately, like, Iris is able to notice it almost instantly. It is an onk. Oh no. Oh shit. It's a what? I- it's an ankh. What the fuck is that? The Egyptian you... crucifix. Oh, you could have just said that. We did. He did. He said we it was did. An we said an ankh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> well, clearly you do. You can't stop by that name. I'm a fucking dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> just showed her what an ankh is. You know, oh. almost like, you know, since, you know, you're kind of based off Egypt and shit, you know. You would figure you would know. <laughs> well, I got I get more research. How big is it? Would they be able to see it from across the room? I'll just kind of wave it. Uh, oh. it, it it's large enough that, you know, you can hold it in your hand. Uh, the I would say at least, you know, two inches thick at the uh, base uh, where you would grab it. Uh, Oh no. And the uh and the teardrop is also maintains that about two inch thickness all the way through. Okay. Andrew knows what that represents, but would Bogdan? Bogdan most likely no. Can I well I, I, Iris yes. With my full background? With my full background yes, with, you, you with your with your full background you wouldn't you would not know. Come roll a check. Yeah, I got a, I got a plus one to religion. Like I could. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, I know, I know. It's, it's just because specifically Iris is from the other fucking side okay. of said continent that she would recognize what this is. She's the only one that's literally from not over. Well, I mean, technically nobody is from over here, but she was the only one that was with. She's really that not. Religion. <laughs> She's that really not over anything. Here. Okay, I'll walk back to the group and show it to everyone. Look, anybody have any idea what the fuck this is? What the onk? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. No. Oh. No, the potato that I found in the corner. No, oh, well the potato. <laughs> yes. No. I like potatoes. Is that like I a? Like... Like... Um. I like trains. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> Insight. What would that be? Bug. Uh, are you trying to figure out if you know what that is? Yeah. Religion check. Uh, is that a religion check? Uh... I doubt you would because, like you said, you spent most of your time at sea, but... Yeah, no, I, I know, I know <laughs> shit. Yeah. You don't know shit. You, you don't, don't know, know shit, shit about... dog. You don't know shit about shit to know shit. All, all I know is that's not part of the sea. <laughs> It's shiny and it's treasure. Plunder. <laughs> oh no. So, 
Iris is the other one that can visit that can visibly at sight know what it is. Is he gonna Iris. run to us or what? Is he gonna, is he gonna move, move his character? Because right now he's too far away to talk. He's waving of the you. mind. <laughs> Feature of the mind, okay. I just don't want to move my mouse. <laughs> That, that is called is an Ankh. Ankh. It is an Egyptian symbol of life. Basically, it's a cross. Could it be a key? It oh, see, just, like, open a chest. It could open the door. By all means, Lassie. I'll throw it at the door. <laughs> he throws the Anka across Yeet. the door. He throws the Anka across the freaking room, and he just bounces Roll an improvised weapon attack. <laughs> <laughs> the holy Anka of Antioch. That's a one d two. Fucking son of a coin. <laughs> the holy hand grenade of Cairo. Oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, okay. So what do? What are you looking over there? Get your ass back on your screen. Stop cheating, little bitch. No <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> What'd you call me? I heard it. I heard it too. I wasn't going to repeat it. I called you a female dog. What you want to do about it? All right. All right. I can suck you some more and find out where you live. Dog, you know where I live. That's not hard. I know where he lives. Right. I have his address. I'm ass. <laughs> Give me his address so I can go hang out with him. No, that's me. You can do it first. Wait, Fuego meets me in person first before Trig. Ah. <laughs> no! Oh, that would be rich. Oh, that'd be fucking great. Oh, the salt would be fucking real. <laughs> I'll send you guys a picture. Look what I found. <laughs> I found him, guys! <laughs> Hey, look, I was over here around campus and I found a wild Eugene walking around. <laughs> Do you have your microphone in your cheek or something? Oh, it's no, it's, the, it's these uh, headsets that we yeah, got. These, they have kind of shitty lazy laser mics. Yeah. Uh, okay, so do you guys just leave the ogg against the door after you threw it? Or do somebody well, carry it? Oh, we actually threw it? Okay, oh, yeah. gonna, okay, he, he, he said he threw it. He's throwing it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> All right then. Well, I, I, just, I picked I it. it. I pick it up. Okay, so I always pick something up. Glow when you pick it up. I hope not, because that's fucking weird. That'd be funny. No, it, it does not. But it is made of. You can tell it's made of gold. Where's that? Mm-hmm. So it's worth money. I'll keep that. Oh hell oh, no! Hell no. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh. No, no. Is there is any there like a, um, um openings, openings on the door, on the door I, can I can use this as a key? No. Oh, wait a, minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I saw something. Put it, put it on a fucking hook. Yeah, I'm about to say, put the teardrop of the unk on one of the hooks. Iris walks over to the hook of life and places on it. Do we we know which don't other. know which one's the hook of life. Or do you know what? Shush. <laughs> well, I mean, we could. I would assume it might be the second one. Why don't we try the second one? I was gonna say, Ma uh, Megan said something. Impression was just sitting there quiet like a dumbass. Yeah, he didn't go. It's not that one. Hold <laughs> on. I think we might be figuring hold out your on, puzzle. Hold on. Hold on. He's talking to Dad. That's not an excuse. Put it on yeah, the second it is. one. What's up? Oh, this is like the third time anybody's like fucking distracts us from fucking D and D, and it's pissing me off. Lol. Lol. First time. 
I've had players literally playing Danganronpa in the middle of session. <laughs> oh, I was over here just building another character for half of it. Oh, great. More packages. Okay, back. So, who's doing what now? I know somebody was saying put something on a lever. I was gonna Pull the lever! Wrong lever! Wrong lever. <laughs> so that's going to be our it. making my way. That's, <laughs> the, that's what that's going to end up being. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. So, I have, I have the symbol. You have the onk. Yeah. Yes. yeah. And yeah. I was going to look for the hook that goes to light. None of the hooks are, or none of the levers have anything that discern which one they are. All right. All right. Okay. Hold, 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 hold that thought for a second, Megan. Is there a way to see if there's a hook that has particularly more wear than the others? As no. in maybe repeated use? None of them have anything. I have an idea. Oh, okay. I'll look at Iris and ask for the onk. May I? And I will use my sensitive monk hands to compare the weight of the second lever and see if the Ankh feels like it's about the same weight as the You're not going to throw it again, are you? No, Enjoy I get it. You, you, you know what, fuck it. You know what, I like, I like your idea, Bogdan. I like it. I heard it. Uh, roll if you can do that. <laughs> I do like roll that. Roll for Ankh. <laughs> what do you think? Do what do you like think? Dex on that, or what? Uh, yes, Dex. For being a sensitive monk. Motherfucker! Fucking lag! Um, <laughs> that was a lag. I saw that. Uh, uh, so it, would that be a dex saving throw? Because I don't know. There's I don't know what would be unless you want me to add my acrobatics to it. Um, add your. What the yeah. Fuck is that? What, what the hell is that? I don't know. Ever since, since you got those fucking, fucking headsets. headsets that'd be right, that says. Noise. It, it's something he's doing. He might be typing and it might be his phone picking up. No, it's called me taking a piss. <laughs> That's you know, he why. walked away and it's he's like getting all spotty. Okay. Um, I would Acrobatic. say... Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay, well, then that would be a 9 with my acrobatics modifier. Yeah. I think with the way to close it, but you can't you're not definitive. Okay. What is that? I'll uh, I'll like, I think it's close, and then I'll just like plunk it onto the lever. Some stuff. The onk. <laughs> I'll hang it by the hole. Does it look like it'll fit? Oh, right. you said I got stuff. Yes, I'll come yeah, up. You, you can you can stick the teardrop through it. Okay. I'll plunk it onto the thing and just leave it there. See what happens. Do I hear anything? Uh, you you can see the lever goes down. Give him a second. He's walking away from his computer. Mm. You can see it uh, go, but it goes down about oh, just a little past halfway, and then sits there. You don't okay. hear anything. I think else, we might be onto something. We might need but, to uh, find somewhere. But it, Sorry. but it sits perfectly just below one half. Okay, I'll uh, look at everybody. I'm like, I think we might be onto something. See if we can find other things. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm gonna roll investigation. What are you investigating? To see if I can find another, like, symbol or something around the room. Yeah, fuck it. Like All I right, swear, 18. You, added... you do not see any any uh, other symbols within the room. Uh, there's nothing to indicate that there would be any other... Uh, places for stuff like that to be hanging or perhaps even embedded in the walls either or the pillars. Huh. I swear, DM, if you make us do a bunch of Resident Evil backtracking. <laughs> I think that's exactly what we gotta do. This is the end room. <laughs> I'm gonna the rat barge straight into the end. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, we've already found Scanlan's relative. We now have a Resident Evil style puzzle in front of us. And we, we fed Scanlan's relative. <laughs> <laughs> I just made it a banjo, man. You're the guys that fucking said fuck it. He's he's now related to fucking Scanlan. My banjo man was gonna just walk around playing the banjo, but no, you guys are force feeding him fucking gems and shit. Well, hey, think no, about it. All, if it fairness, was Scanlan, if I Scanlan exists saying... in this universe, he's probably produced more than just one child. <laughs> it's an understatement. <laughs> okay, so well, let's head on uh, down the rest of the way. We've all kind of moved. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Go back in. There is another door. I may have uh, been over generous with the uh, fog of war stuff. It. I can't get it. <laughs> oh, you, oh, you can't get your thing? <laughs> no, it was same with me. God. <laughs> Yay! I'm okay. back. So. Dad, help! <laughs> so, I help. Or, so Bogdan and Naldral are sitting across. And the... Uh, What's it called? Uh, right door. in front of the, the other wooden door. The hallway. Yes, hallway. There is a name for that. Fake <laughs> <laughs> uh, walkie thingy. Got it. I will try the door. You will try the door. The door uh, is, is handled turns all the way. You, it is unlocked. Okay. I'll I'm AFK at AF the moment. I'm about to sit down, but we can make Ulrich go on point. Since Andy was fond of having the fucking bullet sponge go first. Hey, that's all between you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's all between you guys, all right? So, Ulrich I'll now take... goes inside. Yeah, I'll take point. Alrighty. Walks in through the room. There is now a grand entrance way. There are stone benches, a, another wooden door to the right, and a wooden door on the far end. I see right go right again. Go right again, huh? Pretty uninteresting otherwise. Just stone benches and sconces and nothing else noticeable on the wall. wall. Mm, nothing except like some minor uh some minor wear from what looks like it might have been a battle. Uh you could see cuts inside the stone pillars as if somebody was like trying to attack and did like underestimated the length of their sword. That's scary. This is definitely Resident Evil. <laughs> or like Silent Hill shit. <laughs> okay, well, let's go this way. So, was it just three of us or. No. Uh, you guys are all there. Uh, oh. Mag Maggie's just depressively falling behind. <laughs> Thoroughly upset over what happened. Edgy, so smile, you're going to give us a price finger in the butt. Do you guys oh. check the door, or what do you guys try to do with the door? What's yep, door? I'm going to check Someone the knock. door. Uh, no, someone knock. Uh -oh. <laughs> who knocked, like, who, who knocked on the door? Who knocked on the door? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check the door. Is it? For, for, so I'm going to jiggle the handle first. See the if it's unlocked. Nay, hey, I say lock. I think the door knock seems away. locked? Okay, then. You know what comes next. Lock pick. <laughs> Roll for Time pick. for picky. <laughs> Roll for pick. Or I just Damn tap it. Matt on the shoulder. How about you move? Yeah, I got an 18. Very nice. Rick not. me from saying a word, and now I couldn't can't make the joke that I want to make. It takes about, you know, 30 seconds to a minute. Uh... <laughs> Everybody is just kind of watching around, just expert as expertly. Matt starts to jiggle the lock until you hear that familiar click of a door unlocking. I want to go to the master. And oh, as you God. hear that click unlock, you can hear a groan coming from the other side. Hmm. All right. It's a good thing you didn't kick it down. Be careful. Uh -huh. Weapons, up, weapons up. Weapons up. Heads up. You have no I quarter, get... lads. Boy, I get me have a fight today. I got my great axe out, 
ready both hands and since the door is now unlocked i, just, I go through i just really because i was just out. playing fallout 4 like i'm it's like i just pick pick the lock there we go but i'm hearing some big fat footsteps on the other side of this when we step through that door get ready for anything <laughs> <laughs> So you said we heard so you a groan, Liam. Yeah, right? yeah, you hear a groan. Was yes. it like a pain groan, or was it like a like I'm gonna eat you groan, like Godzilla or something? Oh, that indigestion. Indigestion. <laughs> Use your lightning into the room. You just hear no, not you with Charlie. <laughs> you hear a Scottish voice echo through the hall. Get in my belly. Oh shit! It looks like we're gonna be eating good tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That fat bastard will feed us for a good week or more. <laughs> no, he's too fat. All right. He's just going to like melt. It'll turn into like butter in the pan. It's gross. So, uh, no, no. All right, so I I go in I go in through the door. I'll bullshit aside. I'll bullshit aside. You bust through the door. No, Matt just no. unlocked it, so I'm gonna open the fucking door. <laughs> okay, so you open the door. You, so you're still standing outside, right? You're not going inside the room. I'll go through. Yeah, with my fucking okay. axe in my hand. Okay, so as you don't go stand in the, the room, fatal funnel, okay. As you go through the room, uh, immediately on the other side of where the door is, you are greeted by what is making those groaning sounds. Damn it, uh, Revan, you might have been right. Except, wait, you would you would have to be the one to do it. I can't do it. So there. I mean, we, we had a long rest. Oh no, you're talking natural. Okay. I was I don't know why I was just thinking purple liquid instantly. I'm no, I was I was saying do it naturally first. Oh. Ferris, do not get in front of my funnel. <laughs> uh, the the ogre the undead ogres on the other side. Uh, you can see the flesh decaying off them, but inside where their veins are, you could just see a g the glowing familiar purple that of whatever vials you guys have been collecting beforehand. Oh, oh, everybody, get the fuck out. Everybody yeah, get the fuck out. Lightning them! <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> Give me your magic. Oh, look, my oh, buckle, uh, you go oh, first. Shit. Like, as, soon as, says, as soon as he says, run, I just motioned everybody else. I was like, get back, get back, get the fuck back. Uh, the skeletons that are off <laughs> of are not so much skeletons as much as just dried, like, there's no water on these humans. Like, their skin they're skin is They're desiccated husks. Good. Yeah, that'd be a good way to put it. Uh, they're also standing near the ogres, and they all have that... Their veins are just filled with whatever... Uh-oh. ...the discern uh, purple. This is <laughs> gonna be good! This is how Ulrich died. <laughs> <laughs> Kaboom! <laughs> oh, you, you're standing this in the back why. corner here. This is why I said everybody to back the fuck up. And not Blows just the entire fucking... fucking wing out of the side of the castle. Hey, if it works, it works, and we all get experience. I mean, I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, can I? Okay, so what, what are you wanting to do? Lightning. Mind you, you, okay, you want a lightning. Mind you, you fuck this up. You're pulling everyone in combat. Well, if I don't fuck it up, they're all going to... How big is the door? Like, like, uh, the door is, gonna... a sing is a single, uh, about Shut up, by I'm, I'm asking right. how big the door is. We think we can do right. it by, by, by ten okay. you, you cannot do it together. You can only fit one person through the door. Okay. One at a time. That's all one at a time. Well, if I don't fuck this up, then this might. <sighs> Never mind. I, okay, I, I, I won't say where I was about to go. That might sound a little what, bad. Trick street. What are, what are you aiming for? Who's got the most purple shit on them? You cannot tell. You can just see that whatever was their veins are now a dark purple. DM, so well, not in combat, then... can I can I slap my last vial of purple shit into his chest? Just as I walk by. I explode in a circle. I don't cone out like Revan does. Yeah, I'm the cone. Can he... Can, well, well... What's to stop you from you exploded in a circle last time because you drank the entire fucking thing? No, I wait. What's when to stop Judas you from said, drinking part of the vial? Or do you mean it? Go first. War, it, you know what, Revan? Me and you will switch, and uh, we'll, we'll just use uh, I'll just use Revan like a salt and pepper shaker with the fucking <laughs> purple shit. 
I'll have him down it, and then I'll shake his fucking head real quick and have him fucking burp out into the fucking room and ignite the whole fucking room. Oh my god. <laughs> so as he comes out, I explode like an actual fucking uh, suicide bomb. So oh, I, feel like, I feel like that's not how it's going to work every time, but you know, we'll uh, explore t- that later. T- t- considering we that's it. how it's been explained so far, because you missed shit last time, that is how it's working for now. Okay, okay, so, so we doing wanting, this? So you're wanting to to have Revan use his breath attack? No, no. Is that we're gonna, with the purple liquid, or we are going to shove Revan in the door frame, shoulder against the door frame to shoulder against the door frame. I'm going to yank his head back, shove a vial down his throat, and aim his head at the fucking skeleton. Oh God! Because <laughs> I mean, uh, Preston. Can you put that cone back out? Because he should be able to engulf most of them, I believe. He would get up to a... At least two of the skeletons. I, I said it was a 45 degree cone. So... Yeah, the cone. He, yeah he should en- encompass most of that room. You would hit most of this room, regardless. Okay. I got this, Bob. <laughs> Nargo, open up. <laughs> Nargo would just kind of lean his head back and go... Ah, <laughs> like a baby bird. Send it down ah. in the throat, bucko. I I, I go up, pop the last bar. Send it down my throat like you're oh sending me God. some rum. This is so bad. This is so wrong. I, I pop the cork off the last bar. I have him fucking knock it back, and then I just fucking Quick shake line. him, shake him from like his armpits to shake him like a salt and pepper <laughs> shaker, and I go light this. Fucking bastards on fire, my friend. Okay, so oh, what, no. what, what, what do you Revan, have to roll, Revan? Yes, to roll a D. What do you have to roll for this? A D, uh, it's either a D20 plus 2 or a D20 plus 4, depending on whatever he's got. Oh, this is gonna be oh so God. Crazy. This is such a fucking nightmare that I knew this was going to be so hard to balance at some point. <laughs> whatever. Did you get for playtesting <laughs> stupid things on us? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it, I always like had this idea it'd be a fun thing to try, but, <laughs> but you got, you, you've got a 16. Okay, so. Yeah. That hits. So, so deck save a 13. So you gotta do that one. Um, or six times. Just roll 60, 20, 36. Do I add a plus to that 2d6? Only rats. You get you get a three you get a three d six. Wait, so is this like a for the da- versus their uh, versus their for, for the damage with the purple? Well, yes, the, rather it's a three. Oh, you know it says I'm not gonna worry about the deck save since uh, it's a surprise. Do, do I add anything to the three d six or? No, the three d six is the addition because normally if it wouldn't be the purple. It would be initially a two d six. Yes, but since we made you down, fucking. Frank's red hot sauce over here. You are going 3d6. Frank's purple, Frank's purple hot sauce. <laughs> Frank's purple hot sauce. As a soldier, that makes me happy. He's a beaver. I need to get some food coloring and see if I can't make Frank's purple hot sauce now. Oh my god. Got 11. Oh, that's 11 damage. Now here's my question, DM. Is that going to cause a secondary ignition on the purple shit that is coursing through their bodies? Cool. No, because <laughs> as the room just gets engulfed in flames, you see every single one of them just turn towards the door. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Every single one turns towards the door. So oh, it's, it's, I can't so believe it's, you've done this. Close the door! Close the door! Well, and next it, time we're going to have to roll for initiative because it's 7.30 and uh, we don't need rats staying up till 9.30 trying to do fucking combat. <laughs> oh, and there's an easy way we can do this, too, because I still have a breath weapon. We just yank Raven back through the door. I burp. And then we just take <laughs> them as they, and then we just take them as they walk through the door one by one because they all can't bum rush the door. Wait a minute. I just thought of something. So they're on fire, right? Mm-hmm. If they... one of us fires like a bolt so that their blood or the purple stuff comes out and then okay. ignites, 
any chance we could give Fierce that shot by chance? Mm, that's going to be a combat thing. That'll be next session. Cause... Okay. okay. So, that that we'll pick it up from next session. The right. getting a combat through this. I mean, in all fairness, Revan did just torch that whole fucking room to hit all six of them for eleven damage. Time mm. to become shark bait. Mm, yeah, just no bait. Uh -huh. in this talk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that might have been eleven damage, but uh, did you not just recognize the fact that they all turned and not gave a single fuck? <laughs> They're all undead. Yeah, of course. Give a shit. <laughs> If they suddenly explode from that purple shit, they might give a fuck. Aren't they technically burning? Yeah. Mm. Well, they're obviously, oh, they're obviously, oh, they are, they obviously, uh, are have resistance or something to fire. Um, yeah, it's because they can't feel pain. No pain. There's no lingering effect with fire damage, though. Is there? Uh, I, think, a, I think I think I think it's considered burning damage, isn't it? Unless something, unless they're actually states that they're flammable, you cannot. So, see now that seems a little retarded to me. I mean, if you light something on fire, you know. Well, normally fire would be for things that are alive. Because well, think think away. think about it this way. It's it's the dragon's breath. It doesn't actually even catch the cardboard on fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's very true. Do you anyway. say that now? Anyway. So yes, I didn't will... say that. Yaddy Garan said that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking simp. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Love y'all. Yeah. All right. So All right. Next session. Next week. Uh, next we'll time on Game Grumps. We'll we'll uh, pick up from here. All right. In the nightmare that this is turned to get to. Jesus. <laughs> this is a great adventure. <laughs> I I really should have known about playtesting weird shit when people actually <laughs> think about it, but I didn't. So fuck it. Oh, no. We're sticking with it. <laughs> We're sticking with the rules. The rules have been written. Even the DM must abide by them. Oh, boy. There's a kind of makes some weird shit happen when death shit touches it. What happens when the necrotic energy touches purple shit? <laughs> <laughs>